So let's see. I'd like to open up the meeting. It's 6.04 p.m. Um, and first order of business, are, are there any adjustments to the agenda that we have tonight? I've got everything. Okay. Any public comment? Um, I actually, when I came here um, last week to go on here, I actually asked about your map here that's yeah. on here and asked if you had ever considered reproducing that and making it a fundraiser for the town of Woodbury. Um, because I'm sure if you went around to all the cottage owners on all those lakes, probably you'd get about 80% of the people wanting to buy that. Mm -hmm. Like this one right here. Yeah. That's a good idea. The lair, yeah. for the lake layer, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much that map cost, but I, I don't think it was cheap. And it's actually a, a mile uh, layer over yeah. a topo, larger blown up topo map. But you could map. take that to, say, CVS or something where they can reproduce it onto like a canvas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it wouldn't have to be that. It would be like a canvas. Um, okay. A bunch of camp yeah. wall. Yeah. 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 Okay. Which yeah. is not that expensive. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we'll talk to our town clerk about that maybe see what, <laughs> see what it costs. Get yeah. one here for people to look at if they wanted to order it then mm -hmm. we could order some or something. Yeah. I mean I asked just probably five people on our lake about it and they're like oh gosh we'd love one. Mm -hmm. uh, of the whole town or just your lake? No no, no the whole the aerial of, of all of Woodbury. Yeah. yeah they thought it was a wonderful idea. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a great wall hanging. Yeah it sure would be. Mm -hmm. Especially you can see all the water. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, especially with like you know all the lakes being named and the roads and right. everything. It'd yeah. have to be that size, pretty much. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm gets, sure they could, they you know, make it bigger or probably a little bit, maybe even smaller. But yeah, because you can go to like CVS and just like give them a thing off your phone and they put it on Canvas and yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll look into that. Any other public comment at all? Okay. Then I would make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And then I would make a motion that we approve the minutes from the July 8th, 2019 Second. Select Board meeting. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then the um, Cabot, or the, uh, I keep on calling it the Cabot Road. The old Quarry Road agreement pretty much has, it, the opening paragraph is, pretty much the minutes of, of that meeting as far, mm -hmm. as far as I can see. So we'll, um, we'll let that stand. Um, but we haven't totally approved the agreement yet, so when we do, we can consider those in part the minutes from that meeting. Okay. Um, so um, next on the agenda is the release of town lease land with Mike, Mike Miller. Um, and I'll let you um, take it from there. We'll look here and I don't know how much information you want, but I will go through and give you as much as I have. I am Mike Miller. My wife is Sarah Miller. Um, she inherited the camp at 163 Sunny Lane. Um, uh, and so... Can you, which pond? I mean, I don't know Greenwood all the... Lake. Greenwood Lake. Oh, oh so Greenwood Lake. Okay. Yeah, if you go down Meadow Lane and Sunny Lane is the left. Okay, yeah. all right. Take a left off uh, Meadow Lane. Okay. Yeah. And then it comes... This was Gregoire's last thing. Is that relatives? Uh, no. No. Okay. Nope. Um, so she, uh, her father was John Brown, who had purchased it for, for Sarah to have in, uh, I think, 2008. He bought it. Mm -hmm. um, we live up in East Hardwick and haven't used it as much as we'd hoped we would. And uh, once we inherited it, we decided we would um, sell it. The buyers, uh, in doing the title work, found that they'll just, you know, just go and... Because I read through all the emails mm -hmm. to kind of understand. So yeah, there was, so a, a portion of said premises, once you look back, it's it's kind of referenced later on, it says a portion of this is lease land, but it's not until you get back till this is 1952 with Greg Warren Mar uh, Marinelli, that it actually goes through and says what the lease land is, and it says a portion of the lease land is subject to an annual rent payable to the town of Woodbury. Now, we're not sure the full extent of what that was, whether it was part of the road, was it, you know, was the road when it was created mm -hmm. deeded to the town and then given back as a private road or some other mm -hmm. thing that came up, or is it, mm -hmm. does it go all the way back to the original deeds? When I traced the deeds back to 
1890, it stops having the lease land reference. So it seems like somewhere between 1890 and 1910, they're starting to have a lease. But we've never paid a lease, mm -hmm. um, but it just appears in the land records. Mm -hmm. um, so typically what you would do in a case like this, if this was a private lease or something else, is you would um, quit claim your right to that land. Mm -hmm. um, our understanding from uh, Chris Green, um, from Hardwick uh, that he's come in in the past because a number of properties on Sunny Lane or in that area have this same lease. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, so they've come to the town in the past? They've come to the town in the past and the, the town has quit claimed it to the property owner because it, it serves no benefit to the, yeah. to the town to own We're not collecting that anything on it. We don't know we own anything. No. So, so uh, when I did some uh, just some look as it kind of the road kind of hooks to the north the next property to the north of us just sold last year it doesn't have anything nor does anything north of that have mm -hmm. any reference to mm -hmm. a lease but all mm -hmm. the properties south of us do have that reference so it may be something that goes mm -hmm. back for some for some other reason that was in there that, mm -hmm. that happened to stop at our property line mm -hmm. So you may have other people come in for Sunny Lane. Nobody knows what it is. So. Yeah. Right. Nobody seems to know Probably what it is. A lot of digging to try to find out. Yeah, if somebody dug yeah. it and figured it out, that would be interesting. But for us, what we need is uh, we can't sell the land clean title. With, yeah. with the, mm -hmm. without clean title. So um, our attorney, um, uh, David Bookchin in Montpelier, he drafted up the, the quit claim deed. Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to sign that over to us, we can move forward on hopefully closing on the property next week. Mm -hmm. Good I'll, discussion. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll make a motion second. to do that. Right. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Do you need it from all of us or just from the chair? Uh, just from the chair, and it's supposed okay. to be notarized. So I don't know. Diana can Diana do that. that. Diana can. Oh, so I've got a copy right here. So it's a very simple issue. Nobody understands. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't really know why, but every once in a while we'll see some something stuff, odd yeah. like that that comes. I mean, I'm sure it makes sense when it happened. Yeah, yeah, and we've we've seen them sometimes in the past, which is what we were looking for. Is occasionally it goes back to the initial layout of the town, and if you look on the things, it does go and say this was gospel mm -hmm. land. And yeah. So it, sometimes those carry forward right from the initial plotting yeah, of the town, but. When I looked it up, it seemed to stop at 1890, hmm. so I don't know. Oh. I just wrote what I am up there. Oh, I should have looked ahead. <laughs> and a second copy is critical. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for making this thank painless. You. Thank you. Sure. Good yeah. luck with your sale. <laughs> thank you. So let's see. While we're signing things, I've already signed it, so there's our minutes that we need to pass on to Diana. Forgot that part. Brandy, we're ready for the town treasurer. I have her number, I could call her, but um, no point in it. Maybe she wouldn't fix it. Give this one. So you still have yet to receive Swenson's fourth quarter for the last fiscal mm -hmm. year? Um, Thank you. This will go into the town report. Um, yeah. Financial statement, financial statement, balance sheet, and then the last page is the due to, due from. Um, so that'll show us a reduced revenue for last fiscal year, and revenue it'll show up on this fiscal year. Correct. Right. Okay. Yep. So that's another little we'll carry over. Um, so over the last two weeks, as far as income, 
a fleet permit, um, a cemetery plot sold. And this is for all funds. Um, reimbursement from the fire department insurance. We received the last payment from the um, school building fund for the mm -hmm. roof. Mm -hmm. um, zoning permits, via So we've received all the money for the roof then? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, delinquencies over the last two weeks was $1,938.26. And I can give you these, Michael. Okay, cool. These printouts. All right, yeah. um, so as far as on the balance sheet, for the $26,862.16 um, as an asset. So just explaining those. Um, so is the Swenson money? That's um, what they're supposed to pay. Yep. And then we have the um, MRGP Yep, that's the grant. Grant. That's 11300 yeah. And then I have the FEMA LHMP grant, which is the 6212, mm -hmm. or 7612, 7612. And I can also give you that. Okay, great. Um, Those three total up to the 26. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. So that's. Yep. Um, so, recommendations. Um, last page, you're due to do from. For the Highway Equipment Reserve Fund, there's $22,683.10. I am recommending that um, the monies go into the highway because that's where the expenses of the equipment are being spent. Mm -hmm. and, and that Even would be by it? sending it over there unless the highway goes over this fiscal year that extra money will still be in the highway mm -hmm. and and is it my understanding is, is that you'll create a highway equipment uh, capital 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 fund, fund. it'll there'll be an item line um, every year mm -hmm. in the highway um, yep. projecting mm -hmm. an expense yeah because um, what i'd like to be doing is starting to save money Right. Toward well, the next right. Purchase. And it'll still yeah. be in the. If you don't spend it, it's still going to be there in the right. cushion. I think. Yeah. You know, but if you go over in sand or the like last year's winter mm -hmm. for time, it's, mm -hmm. it's going to make up in other things. But it was almost fifteen thousand less left over in the highway mm -hmm. at the end of the fiscal year. Yeah. So it was close, but. What 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 I would hope that we would continue to do, you know, with the HERF fund schedule, which we're going to close out. Um, and we should probably check. Can I'm just wondering if we can do that without uh, permission well, or we're not vote closing from, it. We're not closing it, and the money is still being. But it's no longer used. in a reserve fund. That's the thing that I'm a little concerned about. Whether but it's we can still leave. in the highway fund, which highway right. money should be in the highway. Right. But can we can we as a select board take the money from the HER fund without? town permission and put it into a different fund in the, in, the, in the town highway that's what I'm wondering because a reserve fund usually I mean we haven't been we've been using the what we had called the the her fund the, the reserve fund to make the yearly payments Correct. without because it's on equipment so I think yeah it's actually an equipment yes. fund so you have to spend it on equipment yeah. and we're going right. to spend so it on anything else it has yeah. to be right and in the HERF fund, you know, we had designated in the schedule that every year we would be putting nine, you know, this is $90,000, which I would like us to continue doing is budgeting $90,000. Mm -hmm. And then there's a percentage of the Swenson Quarry money that also goes to there. So each year in this schedule, we're putting like $100,000 into the equipment fund. And I would really like us to continue doing that so we have money to toward buying the toward next buying town truck or greater yeah. so there's two things there okay do you want to check with vlct to make sure um so we don't we're not closing it because yeah. the fund can always be there okay but as far as transferring the funds from the her fund into the highway for the expense of L let me check with vlct yep. just to make sure that so the other thing with that is 
your percentages for Swenson are currently 40, 35, and 25. Right. So if we eliminate the monies in the HERF, how do you want to appropriate what the I percentages? Would, I would want to keep, um, and we can discuss this more because we're also thinking about um, changing the percentages a little bit and putting less in the paving fund. But what I would like us to do is that part of the Swenson money that is going into the HERF fund, which is 40%, if I remember right, yeah, 40%, that that go into the new um, highway budget uh, equipment fund. And that's so what this so it'll, is. It would then right. be, no, 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 no. It'll actually be in the highway, because this is where right. it'll be. My, my only fear is though, if we overspend, we're going to be tapping into that money, which we're trying to set aside for. Correct. Correct. Right. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't really, I would like to not have to tap into it for Correct. gravel or which is I think why it was created in the first place and the reserve fund right so that it wouldn't get used for other things Correct. yeah because um, we do have let's the new think piece on of that equipment. one I'm gonna be a let's think on that one the new <laughs> okay. piece of equipment that's coming up it is budgeted out of the highway right the, um, the low pro the new payment right new payment yeah and that's where we've set the money for it because I what my my goal my might be to get to where we're borrowing less and paying more that's, up front. That's, that is the goal. Yeah. Yeah, that's, right. yeah. And so we're in a good position right now because we've gotten rid of what, one? We got rid of two leases. No, we've gotten rid of two. This, two. this year was our last year but we've paying got, for both We've got years. a truck probably coming up in the next yeah, yeah, 12 Greg, months ish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. when we start talking about equipment, Greg and I talked a little bit about this, so um, we'll yeah, talk about I can it. See, you know, we got a 13. It's probably, we got to be planning to replace that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're hoping with, to get with the goal of getting those two trucks spread out. separated by yeah. their useful lifespan. It would be, yeah, yeah. Just and somehow get it one new, one old. Use greater. That's, yeah. that's kind yeah. of the. Somebody asked me the other day, do we still have the 550? Yes. We do. Yes. We do. We planning on keeping it. That's what they said. Uh, the they idea would, they was would like to, to get rid it. of it. <laughs> well, that was the thinking. You know, that was the discussed. Well, that was discussed. Um, but you know, Greg has always been in favor of keeping it. Um, I I think that it, you know it's um, that we should. It's keep not it. worth anything to sell. Not really. The no. other side of it. Well, and I think I think the way to manage this is the same way we got a very positive response from our spreadsheet with all of our equipment on it. Mm -hmm which you then got, if you pay it out over the life of your equipment, mm -hmm. it'll tell you where you are mm -hmm. and then what you can and can't afford to do. So it would answer yeah. questions like that's why in, in improving our capital fund, which we got yeah. approved this year, mm -hmm. that meant we reduced a vehicle in the fleet mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. mathematically that's the only way you could make the dollars right. come out. That was, a, that was a fiscal decision the fire department mm -hmm. had to make. It's like if, you, you, if you're going to reduce your interest costs, you've got to drop a vehicle from the fleet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening in the next couple of months is we'll be one less vehicle. And that's what right. we need to do is put put everything on the same spreadsheet, mm -hmm. which project will just project out the lifespan of those vehicles, how much yeah. per year. I think right. Skip probably had one of those for us. And I've top. got one we can put <laughs> it in. I, just I, have, have, I, have, yeah, I have, have, have a copy. Yeah. I brought yeah. down the old HERF fund file. Yeah, because you put it, that, put it right in your out. computer, then you can just... It would answer right. all these questions. Yeah, right. Like it's you said, it's it's a usable truck right now. It doesn't have any great. Are, are you ever going to replace it? it? You yeah. know, you know, keep it till it's gone. Oh, it would never. Once it no longer is functioning, or, or it will or never. It, it won't be replaced. Or it. Uh, right. Or it. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, breaks down you to death. <laughs> right. You know, well, that's that's the people. that's Greg's thinking is that. It still serves a function. It's paid for. Um, There's no reason. Doesn't owe us anything. Doesn't owe us anything. And it, you know, like in the winter, it's basically the salt truck. So rather than putting the salt in like the low pro or having to you know salt with a ten wheeler and then brush back and load it with sand, it can be all ready with so salt. Saving for a lot of. So it rust. saves time. Yeah. It saves effort in the winter uh, for the winter mm -hmm. plowing. Um, and it's handy for, you know, small. back road. Right, small so all you got to do is keep an eye on what it's costing you. Exactly. To keep it. It's right. starting to cost. Like we've got one ring at the firehouse that's caught, was costing us a lot of money. That's right. the one so This one has cost us yeah. a lot of money right yes. now. But you just got to keep an eye on that. And when it <laughs> yeah. starts costing you too much, yeah. you got to... <laughs> yeah. I think it did get some repairs so it could be inspectable. Um, I wondered about that. Yeah. It wasn't very good shape. Right. Right. Um, it wasn't a lot. I don't know how much it would affect. I, I think it's still... But I'm thinking repaired. in this view, we might want to be taking a little bigger picture view with, you know, we're talking about, we've had the cars about a great area. We know we've got another dump truck coming right up. It would yeah. be nice to have a hundred grand. 
and set so, aside. And that's a discussion I'd like to ha us to have over the next, uh, you know, and starting at the next select board meeting. Like maybe get these rigs on the spreadsheet because right. I really would need to know from Greg what replacement schedule because I know dump trucks are eight years, seven years. Well, just while we're on the subject, you know, we talked about it last week, um, and Greg is thinking that um, the 2013. We'll get one more winter out of it, and that'll be have a new one by that'll be summer. seven years. Yeah. Um, so next spring, you know, we'll we'll look into getting look. Well, that, that means that mechanically, are we going to be able to push the second truck off of two or three more years? Probably not. Maybe you two. see where I'm going. This is that's where that maybe chart two. will help us because we're, we're right. trying to we need to push those vehicles. So that'll be seven years with the 2013. Right now, Greg is going he's going to look into. Um, what the re, you know, uh, what we might get as a trade-in towards a new vehicle, because it's still, you know, it's still in okay Certainly. shape. Yeah. 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 So um, hopefully by, um, let's say later this summer or fall, we'll have a sense of what we can expect um, as a trade-in towards the cost of a new truck. So you know, even before as we're heading into budgeting for the next fiscal year, mm -hmm. we'll know. We'll have a good idea with it. And I think it'd be helpful. We'll get our equipment on this spreadsheet so we'll have right. something to look at. Yep. And that's where I just don't know time wise. Yep. I've uh, fished around a little bit. But yeah, yeah. I just know we want to get those trucks further apart than here. Yeah. Right. However, we decide to do yep. that. Yep. Yep. So and we could push our luck with the other one, maybe to try to get two. You're probably going to have to. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. they were bought so close together. Yeah. So I will check in with the LCT. I, I you know. It, if if it's not if, it ha if it's not okay, then what we've been doing by making those payments every year from what we call the HER fund, and you know we've, we're already kind of going out of what we should have been doing because that was never a topic at um, town meeting that I remember when we would. It was VLCT. Uh, any government accounting assembly that I attended. Mm -hmm which we never did up until last year was make mm -hmm. the highway its own fund okay that's yeah. what they're suggesting and, we do yeah and yep. um, which is what we're doing and as of last year the general fund paid the highway seventy two thousand for right. the equipment well, you know, and it should have been money out of the highway for the highway maybe it's so. not an issue if we've been making the payments on the trucks from the what we had we're calling the her fund and there haven't been any red lights anywhere then it sounds like but so. it's not showing in the highway fund. Right. The expenditures need to show in right. the highway and they're not showing okay. if they're in the HERF. All right. So all that's been collecting in the HERF right now is mm -hmm. Swenson revenue. And there was a cushion left over of expenses, just a cushion right. left over. Right, just there. Yeah. Um, okay. So technically the HERF fund will cease to exist okay. and it will have a, a heavy equipment Replacement fund capital in the, in the yeah, capital. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that can be tracked by fund balance at the end of the fiscal year of what's left over for monies. Mm -hmm. And every year appropriate an expense for mm -hmm. that item line. So this is something that is due as of July 30th, the end of the fiscal year. It's from BLCT. Mm -hmm. It's just your checks and balances as far as your internal controls. Mm -hmm. It's a questionnaire. I fill it out, yes or no, do these apply? And it's just making the select board aware of kind of how small the town is and how many people do or the same. A few things, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I can leave this with you. It, in the end, it needs your signature as chair and the okay. date, and then I scan it to VLCT and I keep it on file for us. Okay. Could I just take like a day or two yeah. and just yeah. go over it? And um, yep. Would you so guys that, like copies of it just to look at yeah. it? And sure. Give me, okay. okay. Dumb so. question. We are following all there. I'm assuming we are. Yeah. I mean, there's there obviously there's recommendations. Um. Just question of just something feel we should be doing that we're not doing. Or, yeah, if there are things that they're recommending that we aren't doing and you would like to see done, that would be good to know sure. also. Yeah. Does each town office official have copies of these policies and procedures? No, not every single town official. And what would the have policies and procedures be? Financial our management accounting. policy? Our, 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 um, no, 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 no. Our personnel policies, oh. Oh. our 
any so our harassment, cabinet. our okay, all these policies. We have over I think we 50. had them once. The skip gave them all to us. Yeah, uh, and like I think I did. I send you the personnel I've policy. I've got personnel policy okay. now. Yeah. There's, 50 there's fifty town employees. Yeah. There are fifty, 50 town employees. 50. So when I do my my W twos oh, at the I end see of the year, what, I see what you're every, okay. officials, gotcha. so yeah. ballot clerks, they're talking about okay. everyone. And oh. No, we don't. So we and when even we highway, I mean, there's yeah. When we adopted the sexual harassment policy, I know we sent it out to every elected and appointed official, but that was three years ago. So there are probably new. There's new that policies. There's new adjustments that were done to the personnel yeah. policies, but. And the personnel policy, it really doesn't apply to, the only elected officials it applies to are the town clerk, the assistant town clerk, the town mm -hmm. treasurer, and the assistant town treasurer, and the highway department. It doesn't, there, you know, it, it doesn't really apply to... Um, but within that, there's certain, there's the, I don't know, there's just certain... There is a sexual harassment policy, yeah, which is kind of a, an, an addendum or a appendix to that which we have sent to you know two or three years ago we did send it to everybody but we haven't kept up sending it to anyone who was no. who was new um, this uh, conflict of interest policy that we've been talking about that should go to every appointed and elected official um, and employee so it's just yeah okay this but it's just a question yeah. on this as long as you feel like we're in good condition with it that's all right you're in it yeah. every day so and you know we could make that um, you know the sexual harassment policy. Maybe that's something that our the, uh, select board assistant could oversee each year um, after town meeting day. Um, oh, the new people that come the on. The new people that come on. Yeah, we could. You know, that, that was something that we could yeah, try. Yeah, that would be really. Yeah, that would be, be sure to do. Place, yeah. yeah. And, or, and if there's anything else, I mean, I could. Oh, the handbook, right? Yeah, I mean, we could send everyone the personnel policy. Um, that would be a bit ask of him, work. Ask him to come in and pick it up. <laughs> right, there you go. Um, but most of it really wouldn't um, pertain to them. But, but we yeah. could do that if that's recommended. Um, so I guess, yeah, come back with whatever you think we should do that we're not yeah. doing if right. If you think everything's fine and we're good, then I'm good with that. It's just if you thought yeah. there was something that we ought to be doing that we're not. So if you look as far as the, the treasurer's payout for 2019, last year's. Um, what page would that be on? We're on page three. three so yeah. with me, yeah. and I handled pretty much. So are you looking So I'm on top, and Tom is below me as my assistant, where we budgeted. And we, between our two, we were still under budget by like $300. But he is going to be taking more over now. I mm -hmm. feel that he needs to, to do more checks and balances mm -hmm. to make. Mm -hmm. And um, so you'll see his increase more in mine should maintain, well, maintain the, what is budgeted for. Yep. So. Um, here, when I look at the assistant town treasurer, it's actually budgeted for less than fiscal year 19. Correct, because okay. I was doing everything. I was doing the 941s, and I was doing yeah. the Department of Labor, and those are quarterlies that if he was doing it, he'd be checking over my work. Okay. So, um, so I spoke to him a couple months ago, and he's going to be taking those over now, so mm -hmm. he'll be coming in more often, and it's just a, a, another check that... Um, over me. Okay. So you anticipate that that budgeted amount will be more than, than what it is budgeted in it when it comes down to the actual for that year? Yeah. Yeah, because the yeah. actual for him doing what he was doing Because he was just doing bank recs that. from home Yeah. is what he was doing. Yeah. Okay. Besides that last month that I had to take time off for Jimmy. Mm -hmm. But um. But yeah. Okay. So. Because I want his hands in it more, more so that if anything happens and I can't be here, that he knows he's, familiar he's in and with out. What's mm -hmm. on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Yep. So that's 
So as far as my checks and balances, definitely having a second set of hands right. in on it, on my, my treasurer part. But they asked for auditors how much training, if they've had any training, the select board training. And it's just, if not, then that's their way of, right. hey, maybe you should think about doing that. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. But I'll make I, I did go to a VLCT municipal budgeting Day long forum a few years ago, but I was going to go in June, but it just didn't work out right. okay. time wise. So, if so you I'll could, make copies. yeah, make copies, and um, Brian and Paul will get a chance to look at it. Yep. Um, and if you guys have anything, any, any questions or whatever, send them to me. Um, okay, and, and I'll probably let's see, uh, probably Thursday, I would be able to get it back to you. Yeah, that's okay. fine. So, if you guys can, if you have anything, yep. let me know by then. and. Um, and then we'll, we'll, I'll sign it and we can send it on to the LCT. Do we want to discuss the tax rate? Do we want to... Let's do that in a of, special... Okay, because I kind of threw a lot at these two yeah. tonight. I got a quick overview, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to talk about any of the other things that I bulleted for the agenda? Um, uh, let's see. Or do you want... Mm -hmm. The... Um, paying off the line of credit or um so I briefly spoke with Brian about it okay um, going in and, and our line of credit is up to 250,000 mm -hmm. I have borrowed 60,000 um, and as of right now I'm gonna wait until mm, a good cushion of our tax money has come in Makes good sense, to yeah. pay it off but in the future knowing that our due to do from cushion has you know 311,000 in it that I will be using that and I and I so this is money's in the town accounts right now that you can use yeah so it, when it's fund accounting, it's all in one pot. Mm -hmm. This re this represents all of the money that you have in all these different funds. Yep. Correct. Um, I went and met with another. I was going to ask you about that. Maybe we can get to it. Yeah. What, that, what does that number show? So we have an excess fund. No, the last page is the breakdown explaining yep. where yep. all the money where is. Where it is. Yep. No, I got um, that. Yep. But that being said, um, where I met with she. would just use the funds instead of having to go out for a line of credit. Knowing that when tax money comes in, it'll come back, it, it'll come back and you don't have to pay interest on borrowing money. I assume it's a low interest rate we're so paying anyway, right? Yeah. Two, point, okay. 2 point something. Um, but even so, note to self, going forward, mm -hmm. if this comes about next year, I will not go for a line of credit. Mm -hmm. will be using. Now, does that line of credit stay open for us, or do you have to redo Just it? Just for the fiscal year, each fiscal okay, year it gotcha. does. All right. Yep. Or so no, typically no. we... It's, it's a tax anticipation note, so Correct. it goes, yep. it's a window from now until October 1st. Gotcha. Okay. And that's Just trying it. to understand that. Thank you. Um, so, there's that one. Mm -hmm. And then, so I, I spoke earlier about, um, so doing the tax rate last year, we had anticipated um, exactly what our revenues were supposed to take in and we only received half of it so I had discussed um, really going back through the budget for revenues because as far as our expenses at town meeting we have an amount that the town voted on and that's, that's fixed. solid right. and gold as far as revenues, there was a lot we over budgeted for last year and we didn't, it kind of bites us when we actually anticipate for that over budget right. and we don't get it. So there's probably 10, 15 things that I would like to change that we are over budgeting. We're over as far anticipating as revenue. Over anticipating yeah. that we didn't um, receive last year. Um, but we can discuss that if we are going to have another meeting. Yeah, we should have. Yeah, my rule of thumb is typically don't always take the rosiest picture on revenue. Right. You don't always get it. 
Um, Unless it's a really fixed number. <laughs> so you're going to check with VLCT and then going forward um, discussing the percentages for the Swenson. Yeah, well, that'll be. So um, I would like to look at that as a whole package of how yeah. we're actually so going to save that money. Yeah. 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 No, 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 that will we'll be. Right. That'll be discussion we'll be having starting at our next select board meeting. Yeah. So I'm going to. Um, I've given Michael copies of my brainstorm as far as budget as far as the tax rate. I'm going to make you guys copies, and then um, when we end up um, the changing of the revenue uh, on certain items, and then when we do meet for a meeting, we kind of are already uh, on the same page of right. so going forward. Where we're at, how right. much yeah. we need to raise. Yeah. So, yeah. How different is the number, since I wasn't here, mm -hmm. that we're actually raising, going to need to raise compared to what we anticipated having to raise it when you did the budget last year. So, no, we kind of so last year we raised 0.466. Yep. These are our actual numbers and we should have raised 0.516 due to instead due less to less revenue. revenue. Correct. Okay, so that's a revenue issue that we got to fix. Okay. Yes, and oh. overexpending for expenditures for the highway uh, for the government rough winter. Yeah. Well, well, no, this is for the, the, this is the government, yeah. government where it's legal Town. fees. It's on the legal so again, a lot of this, I like, you, you had legal yeah. fees, and that's that's one of those loops on the radar. You're just not talking about it. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah. ten grand. So you anticipated a tax rate with last this for this fiscal year when you did the budget of this. Yeah. For the town, yeah, for the town. Meeting. So this is our Which actual correlates books. pretty well to. This is what. You did or should have done. This is what we should have done last year. See, so what I'm saying, we're not. But this is the actual what we should be receiving. And going off from last year, this is the number that's in the town report. Estimated for raising is the is 0 0.561. 0 0.561, yeah. And I get that by decreasing the revenue. Not by much, so this is still hoping to receive. So you reduce it by the revenue anticipated, and we did raise taxes for the rest of it. Yep. So it's not yep. a shock. People know about this amount from the town report, yep. but are we going to receive 169,000 when we only received 72,000 last year? What are we anticipating to be received in this fiscal year? 192,000 is the actual. That's after if we receive the 133,000 of FEMA, but of course the, the that's on the expense side also. Yeah. Right, we wouldn't spend any FEMA money if that doesn't that, that's come a, through. That's a money in, right. money out. Right, right. gotcha. Thing. Correct. Right. Yep. So there's. That'll be a, a wash. Yeah, a wash. That's the term. Yep. So. This is my way of thinking. Okay, the town isn't going to be shocked about this amount. Um, the grand list did go up. That's good. So and that's good, and yeah. and and we do. They still have time for their grievances, mm -hmm. but Ron is not expecting it to change. Oh, good. So, okay. um, how much by that go going up, up by a lot or just um, a little? Well, from one point three zero one to one point three zero eight. Yeah. 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 Seven thousand. So, so so it's when? not off the charts. Well, it's ten cents, yep. and then the education went up six cents. Yeah. So you're you're looking. But you anticipated that ten cents. Correct. From yep. the last. The voters know about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. it's not. Yep. So it's it's roughly fifteen and a half, sixteen cent increase, tax increase. Okay. So what's our timeline? Um, That's the, what I'm trying to understand. That was the the grand list. When will we actually have a, a the kind grievances of are. I believe next week, next if not week. this week. So okay. within two weeks, and then. And what about in, in order, order to get my sixty days? Right. I need. Um, they got to go out in August. I love and you know the first week of August. Mm -hmm. um, and they're due October twenty. Uh, uh, it's hold on. last Thursday in August. So we're, we're, we're oh, sorry, October. October. So, so it's the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth is my due date. So we're essentially running out of time. It's getting close. So yeah, and the, so we need to. Um, I mean, the listers need to get us a final. And they won't until after the grievances. So okay. by next week it should. Okay. Well, next should. week is the first of August. 
Right. Yeah, we have um, yeah, next Thursday. Yeah. So so we'll have to have, we might have to have a special meeting. We will have to have yeah, a special meeting. That's fine. I'll be around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll so, have on call. So I'm thinking while we're right here all together, why don't we try to figure out when that we, if we did it seven, Thursday. Jump. I know I'm not on call Thursday, but okay. Friday through the following Thursday, I'm on call. So I okay. could be here. Could so do we want to try to do this, have this special meeting August 1st? I'm fine with that. That works okay. for me. While we're right here, I thought, why don't we get yeah. a date? Um, August first. We'll have a we'll have a grand list by then that we can Thank count you. on. <laughs> okay, so August first. So I'm going to make you guys copies of all these. Yep. And if you have any questions about my chicken scratch. No, I got. It. I was understanding. <laughs> I, I always yeah. thought that the tax rate had shot up unanticipatedly. If you anticipated no, we anticipated the, the, ten, the ten, ten cents. cents. So that's it is what the voters the, voted on it. Well, it's around yeah. a nine cents. And yeah. then um, the school, the education went up six cents. That gets handed to us. Okay, we don't have a choice on that. So do yes, we want to start at 6 p? Actually, it would be easier for me. I work on Thursday afternoons, and I get done at 4. So starting at 5 is sort of dual. What I'm five or so, or it doesn't the matter. Is, I mean, 6 is fine. If it, it would six five, or 6, I don't care. Yeah, I could be down here by 10 after 5. Okay. So you pick it if you get. How the about yeah. how about five thirty? All right. Okay. That'll give me a chance to have a cup of tea. And you'll send the note <laughs> out anyway, right? We yeah. Warn yeah, I gotta warn it. So. Um, okay. So I'll get your copies before you leave today, and then we'll all be on the. And yeah. then we can him and haw, and we can. Right. See what we can do for. Mm -hmm. Numbers. Yep. Alrighty. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. So let's. Diana? Yes, yeah, so what we'll just have to do is look at that revenue picture when we do budget. Yeah, I, I want to look at it because I, I don't understand why we're s where the short We shouldn't is. be at half. We're not doing a good job if we have half. Right. Yeah. But yeah, it I, I seems like I had, a huge jump to me. Though. Yeah, it seems I, I like five and six cents or yeah. four cents some years. But no, but it, what I was concerned yeah. is that there was a, a tax increase that the voters hadn't looked at, which they did look at that 10 cents. Right. Yeah. So that's really not on us. Yeah. You know, that's what we propose. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to join us, Chris? I want to listen to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there. Easy chair. <laughs> <laughs> So the main thing, I've, I've sent you guys information on this records management policy. Mm -hmm. It's something we've been putting off for a long time because it's a real bugger and it's boring and it's complicated and um, but the vault was just getting too full. We had to do something. So Brandy and I studied this and we also studied one that was Similar one that was prepared for the town of Marshfield. This uh, is based on a shell that came from the Municipal Clerks and Treasurers Association, so everybody doesn't have to, you know, re mm -hmm. reinvent the wheel. So, um, there's another copy. I did email you one. So you can give, us the, you can give us the crib note. Yes, well, this is. <laughs> This is like a really sure one copy of this. <laughs> well, the the, uh, the state has these things called record schedules and record disposition orders, and every record, I mean, everything is public record. We all know sure, that. Yeah. We don't have to keep everything forever. Um, there's a SAGLA special thing on tax assessment, there's one on accounting records, one on payroll management records, one on personnel files, one on uh, municipal clerks, one on generally government um, municipalities in general, and um, the town of Marshfield did a really nice job looking up everything. I mean, that's that has election materials mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff in there that's interesting. Use, yeah. So we've been going through that and making changes. Uh, we discussed how many years. Of, a lot of these things, like the accounting records and stuff, they say you only have to keep them for a year after your audit's been completed. Some of them are three years after your audit's been completed. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marshfield, for some reason, decided they were going to save everything for seven years. Randy and I decided that five years made more sense because mm -hmm. there's a few things on that list that are actually 
have to be more than five years, but very few. Mm -hmm. um, so it's recommended that we adopt, you know, the clerk, in this case the clerk and treasurer, since we're separate offices, um, adopt the policy and that we run it by you for your approval. It's not really a select board policy, it's an internal okay. office policy. And this policy. is all in keeping with the state of Vermont stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what all it's this is. In order says. to keep it so we don't have to build a three times bigger vault. Right. Understood. Right. So we decided for now we're getting rid of everything back um, 2013 and back. And that mm -hmm. leaves us 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, mm -hmm. uh, so um, it would be good to get that done. That's your recommendation? This yeah. Really? Do you shred still? them or do you store them offsite? It says, or it says burn them? some of them have to be shredded, some of them have to be recycled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it lists it all out what you can do with them. them. Shred, shred, <laughs> recycle. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is their recommendation. I'll move that we adopt that policy. Mm -hmm. They're giving me a yes back there too. Okay. 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 Well, here's an original you can all sign. All right. So it does get tedious. I mean, anything that has a social on it is key shredded. Yep. Yeah. And you use like a secure shred, or do we have a? We can either take it to. Um, uh, Barry to the recycling center. They have a shred place. Sometimes I sneak. Never mind. <laughs> so the older stuff, there was a lot that had switches on it. Yeah. Um, so for me, and protecting my hiding, I want that stuff shredded. So yeah, I'm okay. Know. Yeah. Get secure shred to come and do that. I mean, just get it all done at once. Mm -hmm. That's what you need. Yeah. Well, we do. We most we'll probably end up with a um, box or two. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do it wrong. Yeah, but yeah, like the larger size post boxes, not that prehistoric. Okay. Really? Yeah. So I currently have 13 and back. Boxes? 13 boxes in my kitchen right now because huh. I don't want the stuff that has socials on it so to get out. Has anyone investigated what day to get secure shred show up? Or somebody like that, or take it for a one time. If you know thing. where to no, take it. No, we could do, but w when we do this, we usually end up with just a couple boxes well, that actually have to be shredded. Boxes now yeah, but they don't all have to be shredded. Oh, okay. They're like select board orders. There's the stuff that's mixed. Packed in. bills and things that don't have. Mm -hmm. uh, so does that mean you have to go through so it? Do you want to give Brandy discretion to get rid of her 13 really? boxes? Not to burn them. Tell them. You can't burn them, it's against the town walls. Town and state state felt like you're really good about doing that because then. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you obviously don't want to waste the time or spend the time, I should say, going through it all and figuring out what's right. no, we have to do. I can go to a post office and I'll call Hardwick, Hardwick and if mm -hmm. I have to go up for a couple hours and stand there and shred it all. Sure it's shredded, I'll I don't do think, it. yeah, I don't think it would. You know, like on OSSU, they have these big secure shred bins. They're like the size of a large barrel. Yeah, you just drop it barrel. in. <laughs> yeah, and then they come and pick it up. And so, you know, if we really thought that all those 13 boxes needed to be... No, I don't. Oh, okay. I do think there's pieces. But yeah. you have a whole fiscal year, 12 months of select board orders, and back in the day, every single payroll sub had their socials on it. Mm -hmm. Something that needs to be got rid of, so that needs to happen. Yeah. Well, I I would recommend rather than going through it all because that sounds like a yeah, arduous task. And you know, just shred, all of shred it all. Shred it. And if, yeah, if there's, a, if guess, there's a, right? com a company that comes and picks it up, just do that. Yeah, we don't really have room for a sh secure shred bin because uh -huh. yeah. you know it we need like to have a really big board. pile, and you can stay ahead of it. Mm -hmm. Once it's shredded, have you still got to burn it or you just throw it in the trash? It's then? trash then. It's trash then. It's trash then. So it can't be recycled if it's shredded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's odd. They come and take it away. Secure shred does, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yes. Not the prices, as far as okay. Yes, yeah, so let's figure it out and just. Do there's it. only one. Yeah. yeah. There's only one secure I'm sure the company. Is, yeah. I'm sure if you want to contact them, they have that. OS Instead of having to buy one and then feed it three cases of feathers. Okay. No. Okay. Mm. The, we burn out our shredders yeah, quite often. Like I've done that to some <laughs> And then a shredder there and a little yeah. 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 You'd be a little busy fitting three sheets at a time down All in there. All my checks, I can only so. retain six months. Okay. Months of checks and okay. I have to shred them. So okay. That's what I'm Where's that piece of shredder? Yeah. You know the one that I gave you? I have records, policies, and this one. This yeah. one. I just made one of those in case anybody really is. I'm, I'm I was going to use that in case I couldn't sleep tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's like reading it. insurance mm -hmm. policies and mm -hmm. manuals. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything else from the from uh, town clerk report? Nothing. I, I can't think of anything. Okay. I've been trying to figure out the new uh, vital records. Yeah. Vital records. Mm -hmm. We worked on this box of moving boxes quite a couple days last week. Mm -hmm. Shall we move on to the Woodbury oh, store? Please, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Nothing. Nothing, okay. Still yeah. radio silence. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I sent another email today. I said that this is ridiculous. I mean, I said if, if we lose our, for one thing, if we lose our contractor who is already been put off for two months it's going to cost a lot more or else we're going to have to go another year if we have another year the building's not going to stand it's not going to make it through another winter and, specifically and winter. it's uh did you guys like see the picture i saw the picture that's yeah. falling in the yeah. truck yep yeah. Yeah. yeah and so i so was thinking of, so how do we is there so i wrote that email today to lauren and ben rose her boss and the response was that they have a meeting a phone meeting tomorrow with fema in boston would there be any benefit okay. if the select board sent something to our congressional representatives? Well, well we've Diana's discussed been that. talking with David Yacoboni. Well, I've decided to start with our state reps. To, I, well, actually, what I asked them was, what's the best way to get to um, our Washington reps? And we kind of agreed that before we get there, it would be best if they could help push things along. So David and has had some emails back and forth okay, with so Rose and Lauren. And because, you know, to bring in Washington and have them calling Boston, you know, that kind of stuff is not always successful. It's going to fall down before right. they get anything. And it's already mm -hmm. falling into the Because it was on their fast track. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. So get what, yeah, what point do we pull out of this and just do it? I don't know. No. We, That's we the question. Own it. We, we don't, don't own it. Own it. Yeah. So we can't do it on our own. Mm -hmm. Well, then we go after Kirk. Um, and make him get it to us. Well, where I was going with this is, it sounds like yeah. we need to be putting pressure on them. Him, yeah, the we try the nice route for a couple of weeks and then go right to the... Because this is, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it is. Because we're getting to the end of the summer if it takes a phone call to Leahy and the mm -hmm. Sanders and say, hey, what, can you check in and see what the problem is here? Because my understanding is everything's done. We're just waiting for them to right. write the check. Yeah, yeah, just say, go give for us it. The, well, they don't even have to write the check yet. They just have to Tell us give it's us done the approval. Because right. soon it's going to be in the brook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at it at the pictures. So, you anyways, the pictures. tomorrow, yeah. there'll be something tomorrow. That's kind of what I thought that was going to look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they said when stuff starts falling into the brook and mm -hmm. coming out the other side, then something's going right. to happen. Well, mm -hmm. if that yeah. starts happening, then it goes beyond, um, then the state would get involved. Mm -hmm. um, Is there stuff falling out of the building going into the brook? Would. Wood or stuff and like whatever that. else is in the wood, you know, they say there's contamination out there. Not right? in the wood. Yeah. The contamination is limited to a couple areas of linoleum tile, two sinks that have asbestos undercoating, and, and some asbestos in uh, vermiculite up in the Upstairs. cap of the of the what do you call it door. Yeah, that's the original part, of the original building. That's, that's where all that stuff yeah. is. Yeah. 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 So it gets closer and closer to imploding into the waterway. I said, when you get underneath and take a look at it, I don't know what we're going to find, but I'll do that this week. I'll get my wetsuit on and go. Well, Chris has done that. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, well, I want to. If there's stuff in there, I want to get it out of there. I mean, as far as br branches and stuff. So if we have another heavy water. Yeah, event, you can't uh, do that. It's, it's coming down. You yeah, might. It might come down on you. Well, I'm not going to pull on the building. Well, 
Did, did you see those pictures? I didn't understand quite where those pictures were taken. Did you go through the culvert? So from my house, I went down, down the brook. brook. Yeah. And just, just barely under the store. Right where that little beam, yeah. steel beam is. Yeah, right. Steel yeah. beam, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yes. Okay, so that's where that picture was taken. Yeah, it's 20 feet under the building, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. contacted the Department of um, Commerce and Community? About pushing on FEMA. We, because we, if you had neighbors take that picture and contact them and pers persistent about it, they would think they would be there soon. Mm -hmm. Especially since their waterway is involved. Mm -hmm. Say say the name of that uh, agency. It's the state of Vermont. It's agency of uh, commerce and community development. They're in charge of like landlords and property owners yeah. who yeah, we're just at the point where yeah. FEMA just needs to bless the thing and move. We right, yeah, we've already, already go. gone through these like other agencies and they weren't yeah. any help. So, yeah, they so I we've already done level. this, something like this? We, we talked about that at the beginning. Okay. And we decided not to go that way. Uh -huh. So we're kind of tied to FEMA now. If we have, you know, if uh, other so it sounds like we're almost the world, like we're going to be in Washington involved. If, I don't know. Well, if we don't get anything, yeah. if they don't get anywhere yeah. tomorrow, that'll be our next step. We're okay with doing, I'm okay with doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. I'd really like to get this done this summer. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like you would like to get it this summer. So. We keep getting flooded, mm -hmm. you keep getting flooded. Yeah, it's yeah. getting expensive. Mm -hmm. They tore up the parking lot, which is a topic <laughs> we're still trying to do. Yeah, with this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, well, let's just see what happens tomorrow, I guess. And if nothing happens, then we've got we've got to start um, it up, whatever screaming that is. in somebody's yeah. face. Mm -hmm. Chris, no you want to say anything else? I would just yeah, like to know if there's anything I can do to help the process along. If I can be a squeaky wheel in somebody's ear. You can write ear. to your senator, too. I can write letters. Yes. So, yeah. any advisement from the select board that you think would help the situation? I think we're at the point that, <laughs> yeah, anything. Hydra yeah. is that taking pictures underneath there and sending them to whoever? But because we're just trying to push FEMA, like you said, I've, I've worked with FEMA too, and the squeaky wheel gets the grease. You need to make enough mm -hmm. noise that they're gonna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to get people involved that will sidetrack the FEMA project. Yeah, I, I think right. our right. federal reps. Congressional reps is where to go. Mm -hmm. If you're going to write, I may actually write from the fire department side too. And Send them the pictures mm -hmm. that you've taken. And right. We're all set to go. It's just your people down in Boston yeah. are taking mm -hmm. a sweet time. Yeah. They'll let us know in December, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you know the building is falling into the brook and it's floating away mm -hmm. in this. Uh, at that point, the state would get involved because it's going beyond the property line. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's another avenue. That loose, well, even with those pictures debris. with the building stuff falling in, is that enough right. to... It has to go beyond the property line. Okay. That's what I was told. Mm -hmm. That's just something to the property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as soon as it's loose pieces of wood in the water, I imagine that will... Like there, if there are any two-by-fours down behind your garage or something, yeah. then... <laughs> It could be tomorrow. Brian's got to throw down once. <laughs> but even then, <laughs> even then, I wouldn't re rely on the state to give us any more help. Right. No, no. Well, I, I was, originally I was told that if it goes beyond the property line, then it does become a state issue. And, yeah, um, for yeah we know how they're good at enforcement, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, so who knows if that I think our best I mean, there was, in his picture, there was one piece of, like, uh, foam board or something, but I don't know if that's really hazardous waste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just I work for the state. I know if you call and start making trouble, that usually moves everything up the line. So really? Yes, it does. Whoa! Especially if you're a select board member or Ooh. something like that. No, that <laughs> does. <laughs> it's just how it works because the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Yeah. Well, the governor's office. Back usually, if the governor's office the calls, governor I've had ladies' office do. call me before and say, "When are you mm -hmm. going to get to this?" It's like mm -hmm. usually the order comes down today. Is mm -hmm. when we're going to yeah. get to this. Okay. Well. Let's hope that something happens tomorrow, at least. Yeah. And, and if they just are continue being wishy-washy, then we've got to we've got to do more. Yeah, we can't wait another year for this. No. It's got to be done. I yeah. think it'll be down this winter, and at least that part will be in the brook, and we'll be digging it out mm -hmm. just to get the brook open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, let's move on to the. Um, Town Highway Report, I can save the conflict of interest policy thing. Um, we could do that afterwards. That's pretty short and brief. Um, 
I basically just want to report on my conversation with the LCT. So, um, Richard, you wanted to talk about the North Road. Yes, um, um, I'm here representing my parents, Wendell and Ann Ainsworth, yep. and a few of the cottage owners on East Long. Um, mm -hmm. There are some sections of the North Road, um, with the heavy rains that we've had mm -hmm. here, that have washed pretty considerably. Mm -hmm. um, and if you drive on the road with a Honda, like my mom does, mm -hmm. or my sisters do, and one of my sisters had, had has had to replace a muffler. Mm -hmm. Dragon bottom. Um, yeah. This is the class three part of it, or the class four? Class four. Um, yeah, it's class four. Yeah, that's class four from, from, from the, the bottom of the hill. It's the class hill three there. down to the bottom of that first yeah. hill where yeah, there's a turn big around, ravine. big logging yeah. lane. Yeah. 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 It's like right when they start going okay. up there, okay. that's all. And then when you get um, on the uh, flat part where all the cedar trees are, mm -hmm. they're like potholes that you can't avoid. Like it's. Yeah, I mean, it, my if I have a, a SUV, uh, Lexus SUV, it's no problem. But right. anybody with yeah. a Honda regular car, it's an issue. Mm -hmm. And we would just like, I know it's a, you know, a lower class road, but you know, even if they could just dump a couple loads of gravel, and people, you know, would gladly help, you know, spread it, just so that we don't have well, these issues. They did deliver two loads of gravel to your father. Yeah. Um, and they That's have. That's on the south camp. That's the private road. Yeah. And then they they have delivered gravel in the past, um, and there's a crew there that does the spreading does out. Does the spreading so. So. Um, and do they do drop it right at the end of the class three or the beginning of the class four? Um, they go no, they go in a little further. They have gone in a little further. I know, um, like, delivering um, the gravel to um, the south road, um, Greg Parkhurst actually did the delivery because he was worried about the others doing it, and, and the, one of the plow mounts got bent hitting a granite boulder. So yeah. um, we're going to do that again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, usually it's dumped along the road. Uh, Jason Hunt and I worked all weekend on mm -hmm. that, and that mm -hmm. road is much wider now. Okay. And yeah, it's yeah. back well, maybe to he way can bring a load up in there right. and get as far as he can. Yeah. That's what we've done in the past. There've been people that have come in um, and asked for gravel, and then they do the work. And you know, we're happy mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah, and I have some pictures here that show that it has washed pretty considerably here. Yeah. Let's scrub it through them. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they could get in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's that hill right right past it. Right past uh, it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because it's hill kind of levels and it's hill again. And then you start going around where all the potholes are. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So so you and the whoever else would be doing the work, do you just want gravel or are you asking for the grader to grade no, it? No, no, I don't think, because uh, I know, because I, my uh, uncle, who um, mm -hmm. was a town road manager for many years, mm -hmm. um, was always saying, we can't get the grader in there, we got to, you know, right. and Jason will gladly use, he has like a John John okay. Deere tractor plow, with, with a plow and around. a scraper. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that that's not an issue. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't want to call it, we like, we know it's a lower class road, we don't want any, you know, maintenance issues to come up by using right. a piece of equipment that shouldn't be there, so, okay. yeah. So, if they were to dump the gravel at the turnaround log landing, or would you uh, further in on it? The, probably the best area is um, on the top, um, right when you turn left, Kind of, you know, where the mm -hmm. road used to go up and over, where there was logging, like yeah. up in there, because then you could haul it down and then okay. haul it on the level part where all the. Um, okay, so pretty yeah. much at the peak of that, that first. Yeah, well, yeah, and there's plenty of room to drive up in there. And turn um, it's just all, yeah, it's just all grown up because it's all raspberry bushes. Can we get up in there with a the 10 wheeler, or do we have to do the small truck? I guess I'd let Greg make that decision. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, you've got the low pro, you could bring a couple of smaller loads right. further down the road, just you know, so you you two or three trips if you had. That it's pretty narrow road. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Or they've got the older six wheeler, which will right. hold six to eight yeah. yards. Yeah. Except that's has the chloride. Oh, well, has the tank chloride tank in the back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so I guess what I'll do is I'll mention this to Greg Parkhurst, our road foreman. He'll go take a look at it um, and. Um, 
he'll let me know and I'll get, I can either call your dad, I have his phone number, yeah, I can yeah, call you. Yeah, just message at my parents' house. Okay, yeah, all right. They're not there that much because they're also on the They're at camp, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that's not a problem. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you very much. Should okay. happen this week, probably? Uh, I don't see why not, but I'm not sure what they have scheduled, scheduled yeah. for this yeah. week. How do you have a sense of how many loads you would need based on? Um, or should I like grade? I pro um, the hill part probably is going to need a good two. Okay. Because um, it has washed considerably. Some big ruts there. Yeah. 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 And then probably just one for where the potholes are. Okay. Yeah. You said Greg will drive up and look at it. Yeah, he'll check it out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so next on the agenda is the old Cory Road. Coleman and Chuck, come on in. I've been summoned. How you doing today? Let's see. Doing? Somewhere in here I have the agreement. I should have brought you a check. I didn't bring my check. I'll get you. Go see you today. Thank you for bringing that. <laughs> no problem. Should I, make, yeah. should I make copies of this? Would that be helpful? Um, I have one. You have yeah. one. I didn't bring it, but I have it. You don't have computer. one, Chuck, and Coleman no. doesn't have one. Let me make a couple. Yeah, I'll take it if you're going to make it. Okay, I'll make it. Yeah. Yeah. Copy of the um, the agreement form as it's still a draft, not completed yet. Let's see. So it looks like Brian has one. And Paula gave you one. Yeah. So that's it there. All right. Yeah. Um, so. Um, just refer to this, um, but I know the issue at the moment with Coleman here is um, the reimbursement for what he has paid Chuck for work on the road. Um, and while we're all here, it would be good just to look at the agreement. Um, Rick Barron has seen it and has approved it. There's a couple of things, eight and nine in the agreement. Um, Chuck and I have been trading uh, phone messages discussing part nine um, and I can share with you or Chuck can share with you what he's thinking about his work on the town um, the part of the road that the town um, has agreed to have him work on um, and then we need to figure out um, come to an agreement with Coleman about the work that's uh, already been done on the road that he's uh, paid Chuck for um, so that's can be part of the discussion um, I think I sent this to you guys yep. earlier, just to, early, especially you, Paul, to get to have a sense of whether I got everything down. On and, the, yeah, Rick seemed like he was happy with it. Too, yeah, Rick. So. Rick was okay with it. Um, so, um, so Coleman, can you share with us? Um, you know, and Chuck can can help help you with that. Um, what you've paid Chuck, what you've had him do. Um, you know, is the work already done? I assume that it is. Um, and what you would like to, to have the town, how you would like to have the town reimburse you or how much you would like to be reimbursed, just to get a sense of what you're thinking. Um, and then we can tell you, share our opinions on, on all of that. Do you have anything? Um, I'm not sure actually how it um, came up. But it seemed like it, it wasn't my idea. It seemed like it was somebody else's at the meeting that um, put something forth. So um, I wanted to, I didn't realize that you guys wanted to put any time and effort into the road because of the other thing. Because I would have just laid back. I wouldn't have hired Chuck for right. five cents. You know, right. Because we waited for you guys to do it. 
But, you know, Jezebel was whining, and I wanted to help her, and of course, I would really like that road to be like a class three road. Mm -hmm. and, and I actually spoke with uh, you about mm -hmm. that, right? That, because right. I thought that anybody, whether it's me, anybody who wanted to put $500,000 into the road, or, or 50000 whatever, mm -hmm. they could do that. But you said I couldn't. You. People have done that, and there have been roads here in Woodbury that used to be Class 4 that have been upgraded to Class 3, but they didn't just do it without getting the town's permission. Usually it was... Is possibility that the town would, would disagree to that? Um, there is a good possibility that the town would, and there also might was probably an even better possibility that other people along the road might disagree with that. I can, I'm thinking that the barons would probably not want to have that be a class three they may road. Not, but it is a public right of way. If I wanted to string power lines up the road because I needed You'd power, have to get an easement for that. Right. No. The town has an easement. I'm pretty sure I know these facts, but I'm Well, I'm the not electric positive. company usually um, has an easement for their power lines. But it's a public right of way because the town of Woodbury owns this Public it's a, right the away. public right of way is the road itself, and then about you know I think three it's twenty rods. yeah three, three rods, rods out from the center line yeah. of the road. Three That's rods out from the which center three, line. It's a total of three rods. Yeah. Is public right of way. Is the total so three roughly three twenty five feet yeah. from the center line? Is yeah. Yeah. So it's just so just it's under fifty. 50. No, fifty, 50 yeah. feet. Yeah. yeah. Now, one time I had this situation up in Greensboro where you know they wanted to string the power lines out in this field. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, the landowner didn't want to do that, but there was a bunch of beautiful maple trees, you know, gigantic maple trees mm -hmm. right next to the road. And that was the only other option. Mm -hmm. The power company was going to do this, take those beautiful maple trees out, and finally they said, okay, we're going out. Mm -hmm. uh, because I don't think you can deny somebody yeah, I don't know the particulars of that, but anyway, I, you know, way out of, that, those are parallel. We're off what we were discussing. I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. Yeah, let's not. We're talking about the road. I was shocked when you said I couldn't, you know, put money into the road. You you can, but you have to get Come permission. Ask you. you have Come to get because it's you, yeah. it's yeah. town property. It's like you wouldn't go out into the Barrens Field and and start no. digging a pit. So, no. you know, the town that road is town property. So. And you would have to come to the town and ask permission to do something to the road. And you know, like there are two class four roads this summer that have been upgraded a little bit um, by different logging companies, but they have asked the town um, permission to do that. And you know, Greg Parker has gone and looked and, and heard their proposals and, and basically they've been give, given you permission. Specs on what they right, what do. you got to right. do. Right, right. Because right. so that, that, that's day. not, that's, not your property that's town property so but the town usually is more than happy to have someone fix up a road yep. um, at their expense that's at their asking. expense that's right asking. otherwise my land is not valued at any kind of development it would just be woodland or scrub land or something like that yeah. right that, but that mm -hmm. was the main town road to Cabot right. in the old days. Right. The and, I, and as I explained to you on, in our phone conversation, if you, if you or other property owners along the road wanted it to be a class three road, then there's a whole process with a series of steps Public hearings. designated by state statute on how to how reclassify to yep. a road. It's a pretty elaborate process. And if there are people that object, then, then there's this kind of debate that goes back and forth in a public hearing, and then the select board, as a judicial body, would make a decision on whether to Which to could still be appealed them, by... Which could then be appealed by, the unhappy by whoever owners, objected yeah. to it. So yeah. it's a pretty elaborate process, but there is a process um, to do that, and if that's something that you wanted to pursue or other people along that road wanted to pursue, then, um, you know, you, you, again, you would come and request that, that that be considered and the select board would take it up. Um, oh, we have a public hearing. Well, there, de there has yeah. to be a public hearing that's part of the process. Um, yeah. So that is an avenue that, um, that you can pursue or any of the other property owners that, who wanted to could pursue for that road. 
Um, it's nothing I want to pursue, but... Um, okay, well, I that's that's just, what would have to happen if, if somebody did, up, or if you did. Now, as far as Coleman just wanting to repair the road, and put in some ditches with that would just be coming down here and asking us right. and yes we would send Greg up to look at it and Greg yep. would tell you what the specs are that you need to adhere to mm -hmm. and then we would just agree like we did particularly with since there's, the neighbors don't all agree and right you know, that's why it's a good agreement to solve mm -hmm. those problems well, this is a little bit of news to me because I, I well, think I've been down here talking to some select people mm -hmm. many years mm -hmm. and it, it wasn't quite as strict as you're describing, but that's well, fine. Yeah. That's, that's fine. Just, I understand completely yeah. because yeah. things get more strict all the time and yeah. more regulated. It's true, but th I think these statutes on working on a you know class four road, I think those have been set for quite a while. Um, but you know, beyond my knowledge, I don't know when they were when they were right. established. It might have been him just going to see Rip Brown and Rip saying, "Yeah, go sure, ahead and do it," or something. Yeah. You know, yeah. it may be. I don't yeah. know that you have to have a public hearing if it's not if not you to go work to on not to no, work on really at our discretion. But you yeah. do have to get permission from the town. Right. That's what, what I'm I saying. To build a house in the middle of the road, can't. It's, it's town property. It's town property. <laughs> <laughs> they got away with that Middlesex well, on Class Four Road, and mm -hmm. boy, there were lawsuits at the end. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. We really, really want to worry. avoid that. <laughs> 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 no more lawsuits. We <laughs> yeah, were just talking about. That. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. What if I wanted to build? a road as a development and I wanted the town to take it over when I built it to specs, would you they would put you right petition us for yeah, anything. That, it's that the would, same process if it's if it's on the town road it would have to be that if if you process. wanted it to become if you built it yourself on your property and you wanted it to become a town road then you would come You'd have to come before the select board, and, and then I don't I'm not sure if there's any a special process beyond that or not. I haven't had to deal with that. And my, yeah, tenure, my, neighbor, my neighbor in East Montpelier built a four hundred thousand dollar road, mm -hmm. and there it sits with the power and the subdivision and everything. And he wants like two hundred thousand dollars a lot for mm -hmm. you know for three acre lots that are really only worth seventy, mm -hmm. or maybe a little. Sounds more. like it'll sit for a while. Yeah, it's sitting, but um, you know, and it's not a town road either. But I, I'm wondering. I thought that he got. That the town agreed that they built could it be to these very sophisticated specs. It's like Route 89. It could be the town did agree, but he, I imagine he would have had that discussion before he did. And it the sounds work. like a subdivision, and there's rules for all that stuff. Yeah. And and but you have maybe he already has the permit. For I this. don't know. Yeah. Anyway. So I will uh, be happy with whatever you guys want to contribute to my contribution to the road. Okay. And my understanding is... I also is own part of the road that you don't own. You do? Yeah. Part of the old quarry road? You own a part of it? Well, not what I consider to be the old quarry road. Uh-huh. But... Um, so is there a section of road um, that you have where you basically... There's an old quarry road an old part of that road that would be on the town map, but you've made a different part of the road that's been used by the whoever uses that road? Yes, it has been used. Okay, because that's a similar situation up um, on the back side of East Long. There's a part of the North Road that most people think that there's a section of the North Road that is a North Road because it's been used by the public for but that's not 50 right. years, but the actual road so is, is a unused straight way that, that just goes right. straight. Yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I wonder why if there was some logger lined around there. Um, yeah, actually, I, I assume, I mean, this it's always been a road since I was a kid. Um, and I is assume that E.B. High... about it? Is somebody complaining about the use of the new part of the road? Uh, yeah, it came up when a logger basically um, trashed both roads, um, hauling logs on the roads. Um, and that that's when I became aware of the fact that part of that road is not Where it's a town to road. Right. And the part that is supposed to be is like you hardly even know it's a road anymore, but that's the town road. Um, and somebody has it cabled off. That's illegal also. Um, so yeah, so so you actually I built... Buy, I had to buy land from Dennis Ainsworth because we were going to Come this is where the road the splits at the end. 
Yeah, there's actually three ways you can go. If you come up the road, and then the original road just keeps on going straight into the pucker brush, the, the, the road that went, that was the original access to the quarry, mm -hmm. the entrance to the quarry, when the Kappa Road wasn't there. And I think you can that's still see where the, um, Okay. Yeah, and that's probably that's, that you can't even see that hard. And that's prob that's the town road. No. No. Oh, okay. Okay. That Dennis Rain Ainsworth said was not the town road. Okay, and that's good. That. And that's where we wanted to. I wanted to access the cabin road mm -hmm. from there. And Dennis said, No, you can't. You can access it because everybody's been using it by adverse possession, and there's mm -hmm. another mean for a municipality, right? I, I can't remember what that I don't, yeah. term is. I've heard, um, yeah, I can't remember. But he said, is. we couldn't fix it. Do you remember this problem? I remember a few, it was a number of years, I remember the road went, it kind of, you can see where a road kind of goes at an angle, and then the new road turns sharp and goes up. That was a, a meeting years ago about that, I remember. Yeah, well, I had to buy that land in order to get that to happen because, um, not only did Dennis say... So are we saying that that piece of that is not a town road? Well, it, it will be. But that's not if part we just of... Keep using, you guys just keep using it. That's right, we did. We put in a new road down below it, which yeah. is the road now. Yeah, and, yeah. and I, we were up there planning the other way, which would have been an awful turn out at the corner where people yep. go too fast. And all of a sudden, the some power company comes along and they cut all this brush and trees and I'm like wow that would be perfect over there yeah. um, and maybe that was after I had to buy this man from Dennis and well, that, that sounds like another issue beyond the one that we're talking about tonight um, okay let's just talk about the issue yeah so let's so let's stay focused on side, that but that's easy. something it sounds like we better we should look into yeah because if, if the town has a right of way through there that's where the road ought to be and it sounds like it was in dispute at one point no, in time. it's a terrible place for the road to be you you can go look at it i've maybe some at some point you could show us or we're we saying yeah. that the road where it is is where it's supposed to be or not where it's supposed to be so it's not where it was originally. Right, I know okay. it's not, but I know that was disputed, though. And this was how it was resolved. So... Well, you just said Ainsworth wouldn't let you put the road over there, where it's supposed to be. Well, he, he wasn't denying the use of the road as it had been, but, you know, I needed to build it up and make a, a place where a car could come up and turn left or yeah, go flat, on, or okay, flat yeah. you know, and it just, okay. it was very difficult, it was very steep there, and it was a bad place to do this. Even it seemed like it, at its best, it was going to be awful. Okay, so it sounds like that may need to be resolved where that's, our official yeah, that's, right away is. Yeah, that's another issue for another time, okay. but maybe... I didn't realize that, that wasn't and, officially yeah. resolved. So, um, as far as reimbursing you for the work that you have done on the old quarry road um, you know my original thinking was to maybe try to work out a 50 50 deal with you to the town would pay half and then you would pay the other half because technically you did the work without the town even knowing you were doing it um, so um, well without the select board knowing we were doing it because I talked to Greg for it well, but he's not the select board right, right. but right. the town He's an employee of the town. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> but I uh, I went to him and yeah. he said he didn't see any problems. So okay. mm -hmm. I went to work. Okay. Yeah. All right. no, of course, at that point in time, he wasn't anticipating any costs back to the town. Right. You know, he was or problems yeah. on this lower end. Right. right. I mean, yeah. it was going to be right. a yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So Greg gave you some specs to do whatever you were doing to? Or? There really wasn't anything for specs. I told him I was good, just going to fix the ruts and put some water buyers in and yeah. get the water to wet the road anywhere I could find a hole for it. Yeah. And he agreed it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. And the day we were up there and met, he told me that when I, if I go back up to what they make them water buyers a little deeper. Mm -hmm. They're not deep enough. Mm -hmm. But I was listening to the girl that lives down in there with a little mulch wagon, and 
Yeah, too deep for her already. <laughs> too deep for her. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think Greg was talking more about the the turnouts just in the right of way beyond you know beyond the drivable part of the road, so that if erosion or gravel doesn't fill those up as quickly, or there's more space to. Well, there was a couple of them I left pretty shallow. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the rain that we had, I don't know if it was Saturday night or when it rained, but uh, there's a couple of them that weren't. Deep. Okay. I mean, they're still working, but right. two or three more rainstorms, we're going to be gone. Yeah. Yeah. But that's just a matter of a few mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's my thinking on the reimbursement to Coleman. Mm -hmm. If you guys... Do you have any bills? I just signed Chuck's check because I forgot to sign it when I sent it to him. And that, was for <laughs> two, that was for $2,000? Nineteen fifty. Nineteen. Well, okay. Okay. So we probably should discuss this executive session or something first, or um, I don't think we need to. Don't need to. We could, okay. if you would like. I'd vote no myself, uh -huh. just because he didn't ask ahead of time. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, it's. I think we could get inundated with people that go work on the class four road to live out there, mm -hmm. and we may all of a sudden have a bunch of people coming in with bills for roads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm leading in the same direction. I'm just right. concerned if we start doing that, then nothing against you personally. It's just no, it, it, if it's somebody needed. decides to go out and start working on a road. We need an agreement ahead of time before. Because right. mm -hmm. you could get a lot of expenses built up mm -hmm. prior to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how does that sit with you, Colin? <laughs> Probably not too good. <laughs> Probably not too well, good. I'm going to build a barricade up there. And <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, we can talk it over again, you know, amongst ourselves. But you know, that's, that's what my felt with feeling is, is we got a lot of class fours in this town, and I'm afraid we're going to have people coming in all the time with bills where they've done a little work on their property, and, mm -hmm. and either we need to come up with a policy. On how this is going to work, and that's my only concern with it. It's yeah. just to figure out so you know what you get into beforehand. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, this does set precedent if we do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, is there any other work on the part of the road that is pretty much a Coleman's well, property butts on both sides that is, you'll be doing? Like there's one, isn't? It, wasn't there a catch basin that was? Discussed? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's a long. Is it? It's one a long uh, cutoff up there. The one that cleaned up, took the gravel out of just below you, where the culvert is. The culvert that Greg gave you was up on the hill there, just below that, that long cut out. I cleaned that, and Greg said it should be deeper. Okay. Yeah. So, again, my understanding was moving forward, the, uh, we were paying for the work on the road. Yes. Right, so you shouldn't um, have any more. But wasn't there wasn't there a turnout with a catch basin above the Barron's logging road that is still on Coleman's property that we discussed? Uh, yeah, the first that first catch basin was yeah going to be right around the corner. Isn't yeah. It? So, so the town would be paying Chuck to do that, for that work. Yeah, um, and that's right at the right at the property line of your property in the Barrens. It's on, it's it's on put, your property. Place to put a log road in. Yeah, where you where you had wanted to put in a logging road too. Um, so the town would be covering that mm -hmm. part. But they definitely don't want to cover anything. Right. So right. The town would be uh, paying for I'm that. I'm glad you're going to want to do that. Right. Especially uh -huh. if it's your idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That would be, yeah. Yeah. You're doing work for mm -hmm. us. And we're hiring for a specific project mm -hmm. that would work better and safer. Mm -hmm. So we'll discuss this a little bit more, um, maybe. Can we get a copy of the bill? Uh, actually, I have one. I have my copy out the truck, if you want it. Just so we had something to look at. Mm -hmm. It's a one-liner, isn't it? One-liner? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I put down the hours for every day of work. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. How much land have we got left up there, Colm? Hard to, hard to say because uh, nothing up there um, that I own anymore is surveyed. I don't think no. uh, old uh, Russell Deming surveyed um, 
Is it broken into lots or just one big lot? Well, um, it depends. Are you on how you, I mean, nobody's been up there surveying. Right, it's not I subdivided. Mean, I, I, I had an aerial survey, and there was a surveyor that was working for me when I was selling to the barons, and, and I asked him to make these lines and do some work, but it was all like sort of aerial, you know, like there was nothing. Um, but of my original, not my original, purchase in Woodbury, but the farm that was the fair farm, which originally I bought from Marty Singer is 117 acres. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I bought it from Donald Vargo. He bought it from Marty Singer, and he bought it from Peter Meyer. And Peter Meyer and Russell Deming went out there, and they did some sort of rough compass survey with no... Gotcha. So but that's anyway, why you kind of don't know. You yeah. Know, like after three owners, the town comes in and does some sort of aerial reappraisal, and they decided I only have 112 acres. So that's left after you sold the bearings. Gone out of thin air. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I, I didn't argue. Gotcha. I didn't okay. argue because I wasn't sure where the boundaries were way out there. Mm -hmm. I kind of think I know where my boundaries are out, mm -hmm. but, you know. I'm going to get where the coffee machine is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. And I bought the first piece, I could have bought what the town was saying was 57 acres, and they were taxing um, Harold Fair, I think, for that much 57 probably. acres, and then Jules Chateau and Martha Corker for 57 acres, but after they had True Line surveyors come, it was 96 acres, and that's what I bought. Gotcha. 96 okay. acres, but I could have bought it as 57. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So anyway, there are some errors in the uh, <laughs> because things just aren't that accurate. Gotcha. All right. Thanks. So, um, so we'll we'll probably go into executive session at the end of this meeting. Um, I guess we it's not worn, but um, I think we can do that. If you can, we do it the next well, one. Well, yeah. you know, I I heard what everybody said, mm -hmm. and that all makes sense to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you know. So we have had people come to us and ask to upgrade a road, and stuff right? Like and that. usually we say yes. Yeah, and it's important. Right. Just at least in my yeah. my time, my yeah. history. And to speak for me, it's important that the road be usable for you to get to your property. So when you have an issue and it's not usable, yeah, then it is make sure you four, tell us. To Greg and her talk right, to us. just let us know because we worried about the erosion because I guess that was a big problem on Rick's that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and we're worried that property. Yeah, I didn't know it. For me, it's important that if property owners have access to their property. Yeah. So it's not well, working. Well, I can approach this in a bunch of different ways. I gotcha. um, I've been meaning to ask Chuck if, yep. you know, I thought he lived down at the bottom of the road. He didn't. <laughs> Close. <laughs> yeah. um, so as I said, if it gets bad again, just let us know. Uh, yeah, it's a tough place because water runs downhill. Yeah. And, and we've got a good plan. I think if, we're, yeah, if we maintain what we're going to do, that's key. It yeah. will. If we don't yeah. maintain what we're going to do, we're wasting our money. I'm not yeah, in favor yeah. of doing that. We've got to maintain. Yeah. Now, have you talked to Greg? Yeah. Make sure he's Greg was at the. He was so at the. We've got to maintain this. Yeah. 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 Because it's, one of the, you know, we don't want these roads that are unusable. One of the parts of the agreement is uh, yeah. that the town will maintain the work that's done. Yeah. Over However, we do that. He needs to come yeah. to us and say, "I need to hire yeah. this work." He needs to check it out regularly. Just right. Or if there's an issue. Yeah. Someone needs to let right. us know. Coleman or, or should, somebody should let us know. It should be on a, a schedule yes. like, right. to look at. at yeah, it, but those water barriers should be cleaned every fall. Yes. Mm -hmm. After the leaf fall. Yeah. It's really yeah. important to me if we're going to spend money on this road that we maintain it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we probably will have to do some more upgrades to it if we're going to yeah. maintain it. We're looking at our, long our plan yeah. long term where all we've got from our road inventory we've got to fix. This is a step toward fixing it. Right. We don't want to fix it and let it go bad and we've got to fix it again. Right. You've been doing that for quite a few years. Understood. And that's, yeah. Yeah. You put a lot of money into yeah. it once, I, really? and it all washed yeah. out. You are, you're preaching yeah. to the choir here. Once we get it where it should be, then we need to 
maintain right. that. That's really important to me. I don't think it's fair. Not there yet. But if, if no, it will be. That's what our plan is. Yeah, there's a lot of ledge up through there. It's a tough road. It either needs to be built up another what, couple of feet or something. Or well, yeah. Places, you know. Yeah, I just think you need to. There's just a couple of water bars. That well, that's what I we've that, got. That, that, that road yeah. stayed put for 20 years. I don't think I don't know who did much. anything to it. I think the plan we put together will work. You agree? I think. Oh yeah, we it do that. Will work. It should work, as long as we maintain it. If we maintain forward. it, it'll work good. It'll work good for a lot. I of know years. when you don't maintain what we got, it's just going to tear it up again. Yeah. yeah. That the years or less Dr. Will be Greg gone. about that as far as being yep. on a regular just, cycle of The only way we're ever going to catch yep. up is we got to stay on it. He was, he was there. So. Yeah, All well, right, well, it sounds like uh, you guys have been <laughs> under control here. Right. I'm going to head out. Thanks, Coleman. Thanks, Coleman. Have a yeah. good evening. Good night. Yeah. So um, Chuck sh shared with me that, you know, for his part of working on the rest of the road that's going to be paid for by the town, he's figuring that um, be couple days, maybe a little less, and um, if it's two days, his rate would be it would be thirteen hundred dollars that he would charge us for the rest of the work. If it's less than two days, it would be a little bit less. Okay. But, um, that's just to do some ditching, water wires, a couple culverts. Um, What's on our list here? Yeah, a couple culverts. Um, the culvert across the road. The and this is with the town providing go culverts yes, and gravel. and material. Yes. So yeah. town would provide all of the material. It would provide the two culverts. Um, so we're changing that culvert that's plugged up there? We're changing the culvert. We aren't changing the culvert that um, the, with the road. Barron's logging road. Okay. Um, we're, we're just, we are unplugging that one. Um, and then so the, are they going to run the water truck up there and blow it out? They could do that. Yeah, the out. town, Greg, the road crew has a system with um, to um, right. to blow it out with water. Right. So, so they, you dig they out could the do, ends, I guess. They so. could do that part, and then the culvert that goes across the road is going to be changed. It's going to be, uh, I think it's a 12-inch culvert now. It's going to be changed to an 18-inch 18 18 culvert. culvert, and they're going to raise it up a little bit. It's going to so have that, to be raised yeah. up because I, yeah. I can't dig down there. Right, yeah. it's all ledge. Yeah, so it's going to be raised up. Um, and then we'll be putting some three-inch stone over it um, mm -hmm. that would ho probably hold up a little bit better than. Yeah. than Is there a timeline thing. for those guys to do that? There's no timeline. Yeah. Chuck, we know when Chuck can get to it. You were going to draw the gravel with your truck, and the town's paying for it. That still. Yeah. yeah. That. Yeah. That two days should take care of yeah. it. Yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. And. Uh, so what I would do is um, I'm going to change part eight. Um, and state what the agreement is, and, and we'll have a sense of that after, at the end of our meeting. And then um, I'm going to put in part nine um, work done on a road that butts the Barron's property by Chuck Bachelor or Shelby, paid for the town um, to no more than $1,300. Does that sound okay? Or what, what would you feel comfortable having? I'll tell you better after I talk to Greg tomorrow and okay, see what right. for changes. Okay, yeah. so let's you know, say. Uh, okay. Because I, I'm pretty sure we talked about putting two catch basins in. We did with that stone call. and everything. We yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. And Miss that's not figured in there. Okay, so that's missing. So that, yeah, that's so. the thing I've been trying to get, is a sense of did I f leave anything out on this? Oh. Yeah. So we've got the catch. I've got the catch basin, above yeah. um, the Barron's logging road. Right. And then I've got the I've got the catch basin at the end of the culvert, but I don't have the catch basin right, we got the by the pond. Line two is so we need one down below that 18-inch culvert where yeah, it heads that, toward the that's, pond. It was I think, about halfway down. Yeah. Greg and I talked about putting one on each side of the road, small. Yeah. Okay. So we can put water bars in and get the water off the road. Correct. Below the road. Okay. Right. So it sounds like we need to adjust his price in the work. Well, whatever you want to do. I, okay. So you were saying thirteen hundred dollars for two days' work. So if I were to put in um, at a rate of six hundred and fifty dollars per day for the town, I figured I'd do it for eighty bucks an hour. Sure. Okay. So can I, should so I put put that in? Sure, eighty okay. bucks an hour. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. so I think we need to work till that we're done. And yeah, right. Well, if you don't, of course. You're, yeah, you're wasting your money. Yeah, yeah. why? You why? Yeah. Shoot yourself before, why do right? half of it? So then, and then I need to add another part um, for the catch basin further down. And see, um, so I've got the catch basin at the end of the new 18-inch culvert. Um, that's here, 
and then there were a couple small catch basins further down the road. Like Where it leveled off down before it went down over the bank into that catch basin and bombed. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, so add another part. I remember you were talking at one time. There was a bunch of gravel in the field. Has that been cleaned yes, out? Yes, we decided to leave it. That's going to stay. Yeah, that stay. never. That I always thought that got cleaned out. That was back when. But it's all seeded and, and it's, it's got, all grown up. It's to all grass. nice and it's, yeah. it's staying. If we dig it, we're going to cause Make more. Yeah. yeah, you're going to be up there hydro seeding it every Yeah, yeah. It's staying put right now. Okay. And and Rick. Baron agreed to that. Yeah, okay, he did. Fine with that. Okay, so I will I will grill Greg Parkhurst about those other two. And you, were you going to try to meet with him in the next day or two to? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I got some stuff going on tomorrow. I don't know. I moved my excavator up there today. So okay. My right. excavator's up there, so. Okay. It'll be. It may not be tomorrow, but probably Wednesday okay. and Thursday. Yeah, I would suggest that you and Greg. Go over it once again. Yeah, yep. and, and great. If you need anything for materials or culverts, make sure they're up there. And yeah, yeah. Well, um, Chuck is going to haul the materials in his own truck because okay. the and then the culverts. Yeah, we'll get them up there. Whatever we're going to need. Where's the second culvert going? Well, there's the the culvert. Um, you know the Baron's logging road. Yes. That culvert that goes underneath that. That's the one that's plugged, yeah. and that'll. And then the, the old culvert that's being replaced, um, in the agreement, we s said that if, if um, Coleman needed it further up, up the higher, road, thought there might be it's, spot it's, your, it's his to keep. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, there is a spot up above that it yeah. could use a culvert. Okay. So if you, if you think it can be up there, then go in and install it, it up there. Yeah. It can. Yeah. And I guess the town would pay for Correct. your time putting in that. Yeah. If, it would, if it would help the road. It'll definitely help the road. Okay. If it would help the road, use, use that new old culvert up, okay. up the road. As long as it's not destroyed when you get it out. No, no. It's not in good shape. Yeah, it's all yeah. right. Well, I saw it. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. And, uh, okay. So it's probably, it's probably going to run a little over two days. Yeah, it sounds but like it'll it. be. Mm -hmm. That's okay. 80 bucks an hour. Okay. Yeah. No, I have a list of mm -hmm. hours per day. Yep. Yep. That sounds good. Perfect. Yeah. So um, I'll have you meet with Greg one more time, and then I'm going to I'm sit gonna down. I'm going to hunt him up in the morning. Okay. And I'll I'll sit down with him, and we'll go through this and make sure everything is on it. I'll send it back out again, including to Rick. Um, and then um, we'll try to do be great if we could have this pretty much completed by the end of the week so that you can get to get to work on it um, yeah because well, what, what we'd like to do is have this thing complete to what the work is have everybody see it everybody agree to it and sign it so that we have a written document so there isn't any right. after the fact right somebody yeah. didn't do what they yeah. so we're all covered you the well, town. I, I can I've got other stuff to do okay so okay if it's going to be a few days I'll probably move my excavator out okay yeah until you get this lined up and then we'll I would like to have this done by the end of the week okay <laughs> so we don't end up with a no it's not what we said yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. he said she said yeah, no, I don't and, that. and judging by the situation that's what we need to yeah, we do yeah yeah so and that's for all parties involved Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so there's everybody's on board. And, okay. All right. Okay. So we're getting there. Thank okay. you, Chuck. Not a problem. I, I promise we'll move quicker than FEMA. Yeah, you will. It won't be seven years from now. Yeah. All right. Well, if you need anything, you got my number. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Yep. All right. Have a good night. Okay. You too. All right. So, do you, we could talk about okay. village paving? That's kind of next on the. So, on village the, paving. I, did you? Is there someone at this? I I need a spec. Right. I sent you an email. I don't know if you had something you could share that I could. That's all. I've got this thing done for an RFP. Okay. I'm not positive we'd be able to get it done this year, but I'd like to right. finish it and send it out. And you might get okay. someone that'll do it at the end of the year. I don't remember who did the Cabot Road the last time. Do you? Pike did the Cabot Pike. Road, and so Lauren, we should have the specs for it. Down well, there. yeah, except we did. Yeah, that was, those are like super duper. Yeah, that was for the heavy oh. truck specs. And looking yeah. at parking lot specs, 
you've got to, whether it's a regular parking lot or one that, into, like in front of the firehouse, you're going to need to beef up that pavement for truck specs. Yeah. Because right. trucks are going there routinely. I, yeah, I'd like to have the specs be somewhat heavy duty. You so know, it looked like there was one inch kind of driveway. Yeah, so it needs to be there. a little heavier than Just what it is. a lot of trucks pull in there. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. and we have the fire trucks. So I don't know who to get that from, if Shauna or someone at the state could help me or. She might be able to. Um, I could. Because I could have it ready for the next meeting to get right. ready to send out. Because yeah. like, it's all done with just the dates not filled in. Or any of the other than the pavement spec. Or any of the contractors that you've. Nobody's gotten back to me. They're all the problem is all, everybody's busy. Everybody's this is hot busy. season. All I've gotten is a possibility that it's an end of year October type thing. If yeah. there's time, if not, we'll be sitting on it till yeah. spring. But we'll know if nobody bids. <laughs> okay. But I think we should bid it out and see if we get something. Yeah. Okay. I can. I have contact information for Norm Patino. Um, who is the person who did the estimates for both the Village Square um, and the Upper Cabin Road that we came? So someone could just get in touch with me that would willing to. I just try to use someone to meet me long enough to say, right. "This is what we want to do," and I'll put it in the little blurb there. If this is what our expectation okay, is. So yeah. let me let me give you his contact information. I'll, I can give okay, it to just you. email it to yeah. me. And I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll have it ready. For, I was going to have it ready at this meeting, but I just can't. Yeah. Only one line I got left to write. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll get the, his contact information to you, um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so um, next on the list is the V-Trans. Um, we have, uh, so this is, and I, I think I sent this to you guys, I'm pretty sure I did. It would have been just a couple of days ago, maybe before the weekend. This is a grant agreement. Um, it's 18 pages long. A lot of it's just of kind of boilerplate state contract stuff. Um, the crux of it is, um, uh, let's see, where is the amount? So basically the grant would be for $150,000. Um, the VTrans would pay 135000 of that and then... That's the estimate for the Cabot Road? That's, uh, that's what the grant... That would be the the um, total for the grant that's for the fixing the wash yeah. around the washout, right? Yeah, that's that's the main focus. If there's money left over, then we can use the money left over from this grant to reimburse us for some of the county road washout culvert washouts yeah, that, that happened at that same event. Um, but you know, um, so this will get us to the point where we can start sending out some bids. Yes, you know, if we. Um, you know, if we agree to the grant award agreement, mm -hmm. um, then um, and get it back to them, um, then um, yeah. So it's kind of hard to say we don't disagree with it because we haven't even seen a price. Well, we we won't get a price. We'll, we'll you know we'll put it out the bid and we'll yeah. get we'll get See, prices, we'll get prices that. that way. Um, yeah. <laughs> what we have, what we don't have yet, is the scope of the work. Yeah, right. still which is know. still being worked on by some different state agencies. So we don't have that yet. This would be this would be a grant agreement that would assure us that the money is there waiting for us. Yeah. Um, so we need to sign this and get it back to them. Yes. Or? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we should do that. And, and then um, yeah. you know, and then when we get the scope of work, because yeah. um, they're trying to figure out what would be the best fix for that, or or whether they would have a couple of scenarios. So we would have the scope of work so that we could put together an RFP, send it out. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, part of that would be um, a mandatory site visit. So the people who are bidding on um, yep. the RFP would be there. There would be people from the state there from VTrans. They could explain what needs to be done. The, the contractors you know, could hear that first hand from someone who knows what the project and what needs to be done mm -hmm. rather than me or yeah, any of us. Yeah. Um, they could ask questions so they'd have a better <coughs> sense of what the work is involved and then they would go back and put together their bids, um, submit them, mm -hmm. and um, and then we would choose. Yeah. Um, Shauna Clifford mentioned that she has some contractors that she, know, she knows could do the work. She is requesting that we send them a bid yeah um, and um, so we we would do that um, and then we'll see who else kind of um, you know, bids it. she doesn't want somebody to bid on it um, who you know, would find out yeah not qualified and would find out that they're over their heads um, yeah 
Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 So. Anticipated on doing the work this fiscal year. Yes, we have to do it this year. Yeah. But getting reimbursed may not be this fiscal year. So that's yeah, it thing. should be because you know this work will be done before snow flies. Um, or it won't be getting done. It won't be getting done okay. this year. Um, and that's a possibility, I suppose. I mean, it's just kind of late, to, right. again, to be doing this. Um, and uh, and then we would have, you know, we could, we have, we have to put together invoices and all right. blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, I'm just planning ahead as far as the date again, and then. Yeah. And then, uh, I, I think, you know, I could ask Shauna what the turnaround would be once we, we've put in our full report. Um, it does seem like it takes the state at least a couple of months to, to pay us to flip, pay it, flip yeah. it around. Yeah. yeah. And so I, if I can get a copy of that after mm -hmm. I sign yeah. it, that yeah. way I can start file for the grant. Yeah. And then yeah. It would certainly yeah. be very nice to get this done and Dan Janice's culvert at the same time or would well, we do that ourselves? Or that's, no? that's not part of this. Not part of that. That's no. another great Chuck project. Someone Bury a couple culverts. Yeah, but then the, I think the road crew could do that too. The one, but just give again if there's time issues. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because I know yeah, that was time important issues, to Ronnie to get those two uh, yeah. culverts put in up there. Th this yeah. grant is to remedy to dam fix the wash damage out. done. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So there's this part. Um, everything else is a you know, problem. On Town Highway 2, Cabot Road, the roadway slope eroded, leaving a vertical face in the downhill lane compromised. In addition, two culverts on Town Highway 6, County Road, were washed out. Um, reason for problem, heavy localized rain on May 19th, 2019. You know, so many inches of rain um, caused brooks to rise quickly, which inundated culverts and caused erosion to the road embankment. Um, scope of work, construct a retaining wall on Cabot Road and County Road replace the culverts and repair the road washouts. That work's already been done. Um, so you yeah. get reimbursed for that? Yeah, yeah. So the town's 10% match on this is roughly $15,000. Um, and then the rest, um, this is a letter that I wrote uh, explaining the situation um, that, that Shauna submitted. Um, and then attachment C, standard state provisions for contracts and okay. grants. Yeah. It's all, all, stuff, all yeah. standard stuff. Um, so, um, and then the place for us to sign, um, let's see, it's probably, here's another just kind of basic um, breakdown of the amounts. Um, page. Um, this is another um, standard thing for insurance. Um, and I think I think probably the town has to provide information about this. Um, so and then where is the part? Let me see. Let's read the last page. Yeah, we usually have to have a copy of our certificate. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's weird. There's no place for us to. S oh wait, I forgot. It's too. Okay, so let me start at the beginning. It's double-sided. It's double-sided, yeah. Double -sided, yeah Estimated that. completion date. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. <laughs> That's good luck in there. Yeah. I think we right behind the paving in the town square. Okay, so here's yeah. where we need to sign. Um, so it sounds like as a chairperson I could sign it for the select board. Um, so I guess, first of all, I would make a motion that we um, Sign the agreement, grant agreement with uh, v, for the VTrans Town Highway Emergency Grant. Um, yeah, so I'll make a motion. But I'll second it. All right. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So I will sign it. Um, I feel like we have to do this. So mm -hmm. bitter pill, but eat it up yeah. and smile. Those timesheets would have to be. Yeah, sort of like the grants and anything. Uh, you know, okay. we'll, we'll put together the timesheets, the uh, slips, Just the only material slips. Because again, it'll be an accounts receivable. Mm -hmm. In this fiscal year, in this hopefully. Fiscal year, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. From an expense hopefully. that was last fiscal year. Yep. It wasn't budgeted right. for. Yeah. 
Okay, so I will, um, I guess, I might leave this here for you guys to scan and send to them. Um, yep, I can do that. Okay, um, so I'll probably leave it here in the morning as I head out for work before folks are here. Actually, I have tomorrow afternoon free, so I'll try to get here before uh, you guys leave um, and have this, have the address um, that this came well, from. Well, I can scan it right now and bounce okay. it to my email and All right. forward it to them. Okay, and I'm gonna that would be great. That would be great. My own copy. Yep, and I will, um, you want the whole thing? Because I could send this to you digitally. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get it back in order, right? Well, fortunately, the pages are numbered, so um, it's probably not in order right at the moment, but <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> All right, so um, highway equipment. Um, I'm calling this device a burmer. The burmer. <laughs> the burmer. Um, and the more brush cutter. Um, so, where am I? So, Greg um, has. He, um, and I know you've done some more research on the Burmer. Yeah, which um, I gave him the updated quote yeah, was 17, yeah, 17 something. And this would be, so um, just to bring you up to speed, Brian, if... Um, I think I sent you a copy of it too. Yeah, Greg, Greg looked at the video um, that, that Paul had sent, um, and he noticed in one clip of it, he said, oh, that looks like uh, a bucket loader attachment. It looks mm -hmm. like a, they were releasing it from a bucket loader. So um, we talked to Paul about that. Paul did some research into that, and, and they do make um, this Burmer piece of equipment so that it can attach to um, a bucket loader, and it's it, it would attach to it's our designed for that cat attach yep. cat, cat um, system. So that's what we decided to focus on. Could you, you know the bucket loader could go in front of the grater. Yeah, um, I was thinking the same. I think I saw some pictures. Yeah, of that. I was thinking the same. Right. It'd be better yeah. on the bucket loader. Yeah, yeah. I grader. actually after our meeting we had I went over to the yeah. town garage and mm -hmm. met with Greg and we yeah. looked at the bucket. It seemed to make a lot. Part of it was the view. Yeah, You're trying yeah. to look down the grader. Yeah. You could, but the problem is a little bit behind you. Bucket loader set. And if right you put there. it on the town truck, you're not even going to see over there. Yeah. So the loader, you're going to be looking right down on yeah. that yeah. Right in front equipment because it's going to take a little bit of operating because because we have culverts and we have. Well, yeah, I just I just hope it's something that works for us. I'm gonna get it here because it's well, an unknown quantity. It, it, yeah. um, There's great, probably places it'll work great. It's, there may be yeah, some. It's not unknown. Um, great called um, Alan May. Yep. Um, for the better roads. Mm -hmm. He did because he had said he was gonna call somebody. Because yeah. I called around, but nobody local. It was all west yeah. Western people. Yeah. Well, there is. He called Alan May, and Alan May said, "Yes, there are people over in Chittenden, Edison County, they are, okay. that are using this, and they do use it on a bucket loader." Yeah. And we could go look at Check it. it um, do you say they were happy with it? Yeah, he said. And but they tend to use it first thing in the spring when the ground is soft. Yes. Yeah. And then it just then they're done using it after. Yeah. So um, so I know the Greg may go make a trip over there just to see the thing, see how it works. Yeah. Um, that would be super. We could do that. Um, yeah. Because this is a step in my mind. I was, the reason I looked it up, I was trying to find a way to get us accelerating on this problem right. we have. Because that's something cut on down the bucket loader. We could train a sub to run it, you know, mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. Grizz could still be in the grader and yep. Greg could be doing what he's exactly. doing, you know. And it's because this, if this works for most of the berms, I realize it may not work perfect everywhere because yeah. there's mm -hmm. places the ledge, ledge comes right out and mm -hmm. there's places yeah. the trees and there's nothing that's going to work good there except yeah. for the excavator or the edge of the grader. But yeah. if we can increase the proficiency of the hours they're yeah. spending, mm -hmm. it would and, work, and, and we're recovering that yeah. material and not hauling it away. Yeah. It'll and help us it. clean some of these dishes we're out. We're going to use that material cleaned. back in the road. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. what it's going to do is recover those berms. In some places, mm -hmm. they're two feet wide and a foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would it would work for a good part of the the yeah. roads. Yeah, because yeah. just driving around, there's a lot of places you're going to be able to move yeah. right along and just clean it right mm -hmm. out. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe something, you know, maybe other towns would be interested in it. And really could they probably that's what really, did, really yeah. wanted to defer to Greg, who yeah. has to use it to say, yeah. no, this is stupid. Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 He didn't he seems to like the idea. So. Mm -hmm. And Greg has been trying to get more information about the, um, the mower, um, cut, you know, brush cutter, um, and still hasn't had much luck, but he's still kind yeah, of working our, on mow, that. Our mowing stuff lately has been. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. The mowing wasn't tough. It wasn't yeah. good. It was crappy looking. Yeah. 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 So, so I don't know what we got to do to make a get a better finish cut. Either is well, that machine isn't. This machine, doing it. you know, hopefully this machine would do that. That's mm -hmm. the that's the thing. Um, yeah. 
So, um, but trying to you know trying to get more information if there is somebody trying to get some references mm -hmm. um, from people that use it. Um, that came up by Greg tool. one day when he was using that to cut, and it's like man. It, just, it was not going to last till this yeah. long. Yeah, it was crappy underneath it. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, we got to find a better way to do our roads. Yeah. yeah, and there's still there's, there's still the intention of financing both of these pieces of equipment um, through the Union Bank, bank hopefully. Um, and we have some money in that fund we could use on well, it too. Well, right? we could. Yeah, bernie has been mentioning that, but we could also, you know, either use some of that money or finance it with what we pay every year for the mowing for the yep. mowing yep. Um, which you know if we we're to have one year it's one week the next year it's two weeks so it's 30 you know it was thirty two hundred dollars this year um, if we and it's usually a every other year's cycle so we're spending about nine thousand dollars plus every two years so mm -hmm. if we're if we could make have like a payment schedule that was about forty five hundred dollars a year it wouldn't be any addition to, yeah. the budget, right. to the budget and if it, it improves efficiency and they can spend more time doing it right because I realize you know there's a lot of branches they can cut with that and maybe the first few years may spend a lot of time doing mm -hmm. it but then you can yeah. be able to yeah. maintain yeah. it the same with, with the, yeah. Yeah. With the they, berming tool is you know, you're going to spend a lot of time initially fixing yeah. then after you should be able to maintain it yeah and they could use it when they needed they it time rather than the it. one week that you know you, we have to book them over a year ahead of time usually yeah. to, to, to get it and you know, like one of the thoughts Greg has, you know, this this um, wild chervil that um, isn't invasive, and you know, it's already by the time we got them all, it had flowered and gone to seed. So too late. You, yeah, <laughs> but they could cut it before it goes to yeah. seed. It would help the, the spread of it. Um, the, the brush cutting part we could use any time. Those trees that yeah, rainy day yeah. out there just yep. whacking yeah. the yeah. brush so, back in the loader. Yeah. But we need to, you know, we need to find out more information about that. Um, just yeah, it's like we can't grade on a rainy day, but we could well, you could brush. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you know, pending some more information about the the more cutter, um, you know, it's they both seem like worthwhile yeah. mm -hmm. investments, especially if it doesn't isn't going to raise the the yearly budget to pay for them. Yeah. Yeah, because to be efficiency on what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we have days where right. nothing happens if it's right. a white rainy day in the spring or something, and they could be doing. Yeah, it's not of these. And it's these desperately it's needed. It's not yeah. like it's just, oh, we should do it. It's like, no, no, this is yeah. Right, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so I think, you know, let's keep, um, just get a little more yeah, information. Yeah, maybe I'd like to get moving forward on it. If you mm -hmm. can get the, yep. Yeah. sounds like it's a good way to go on the berming tool and the, mm -hmm. just got to solve the brush cutter. Yep, yeah. yeah. so if we can get, get them. And get them into use. Yep, yeah. get a little more information on this and, and you know, um, we could um, maybe try to have both of them ready to go um, next spring, summer. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. So we'll keep keep working on that. And Greg, you know, Greg is he's been calling. Um, there's a this company um, makes the mower brush cutter specifically to go on a cat yeah. bucket loader. So he's been trying to get a hold of um, the rep, and, and they they kind of want him to go through the local. Um, Dealer, a dealer, which is Fairfield um, over in Morrisville. Um, Fairfield cat dealer. At least for this piece of equipment. Yeah, for no. the piece. Of, yeah. I don't think cat makes it, but they make it specific for yeah, the cat. Yeah, yeah. This is made for a cat. So, so he's still making phone calls. Yeah. Um, pretty much, and um, not really connecting with the right person. Um, but he's working on it. Um, so we had talked a little bit more about equipment the ten wheelers and the grader um, and maybe you know at this point it's already five after eight let's save that for our next our next, our next conversation we, well give us a precursor on what he's talking okay. about so, so we you know about as it. i mentioned before um you know we're th he's thinking that okay so we'll get one more year out of the 2013 right, we we'll probably got to turn one of those trucks over yeah not literally but so he's he's going to be contacting charlotte boys to see First of all, you know uh, what they would give him as a trade-in um, towards a new ten-wheeler, um, and you know, then and then the second one, whether we try to stretch another couple years out of it or, or not. Um, We're just trying to get those purchases a little further right. apart, so we may only be paying one dump truck lease at a time. Yeah, right. we can set be really some, nice. Yeah. If we can set some money ahead where you're paying half or. We keep the better of the two trucks and try to make it last. Make yeah. it last I don't know if one's got more miles than the other or hours than the uh, other. 
Yeah, the, the, the ten wheeler that we're looking to replace has um, let's see, I wrote it down here somewhere. Has seventy thousand miles on it, um, and of course it'll be a seven years if we were to trade it in next year. It would be the, the seven years, which seems to be the standard kind of replacement timeline. That's why I'm here to um, seven to eight yeah, years. Yeah. And then you know, as far as a greater, um, a, on a, I think it was, was it, I think it was Friday morning. Um, you know, it seems to pop up pretty regularly that you can get a, a pretty new, pretty decent um, used grader uh, for about $150,000. Um, on Friday, there was one that um, Greg pulled up on a, on a, a laptop. Um, it was a 2016 grader. It had, um, I think, uh, no, I'll never find those. Out. Okay, so, just we get but, it, but it had, you know, it had uh, 3,500 hours on it. 2016, 150,000 um, dollars. It was in West Virginia, so obviously there's going to be cost getting it here. But um, so what I'd like us to do is is start is sit down at our, you know, we'll, we'll have it on the agenda for our next select board meeting, and it'd be great to have the town treasurer sitting in on it with us. Um, let's look at, you know. Um, how much money we're going to be putting away each year. Um, hopefully, um, we'll have a sense of what we might be getting as a trade-in value on, and what the cost. That'd of be great if you could find trade. somebody that could give them a rough estimate. Of yeah, Charlotte boys could do that. They can't. Yeah, yeah, I think we need to get these rigs on a spreadsheet and then mm -hmm. put some anticipated yeah. dates. Yeah. So it's not a surprise okay. to us. No, work. Let's work out a plan. Yeah. That, so we know in X amount we, of years we we've got we to, need have to X work out dollars. A, a plan, um, and we can kind of refer to the last HERF um, schedule that, that Skip put and together too. Fund it um, and stick with it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. That way, he's also got some surety of when equipment's right. going to be turned over. It's right. not like, oh well, can't you keep it a little couple more years? Right. Yeah. Well, I, I hope that we can come up with a, a three-year to five-year kind of plan on, on what we can do here. And, uh, where our costs and everything's expensive, right? But you know, used a new grader is like three hundred thousand yeah. dollars plus. So getting it's getting one that's not, and this would you know this grader is it's four wheel drive. You want a four wheel drive heavier? Yeah, heavier, and um, with all of the newer kind of parts and stuff on it. So um, the state had a cat grader set down there last weekend from mm -hmm. yep. down here the Iowa grader. Yeah, I was going to ask Roy if that was there for. Turnover, yeah. auction, or what? It's only got a hundred hours, and they'd like to donate it somewhere. It never happens. In real Chances life. are, theirs don't have many hours on them. <laughs> I know they don't really have much use for. Yeah, they use them in the winter a little bit. Yeah. No, it. Um. So. Okay. okay. That's so a little precursor. Just some other th the things. Um, the East Long. Um, I guess you know. The gravel that Wendell um, Ainsworth requested was delivered. Um, the crew, I, I have them, um, I call Vermont Local Roads and basically have the crew, the whole crew, I think, um, signed on to, um, there's different online training programs for road crews that they're, they're signed on to and they'll also be getting um, notify, notifications of um, different um, hands-on day-long trainings for different pieces of equipment. Most, yeah. of, the, most of that happens in May and then after the summer, you know, so it's kind yeah, of right. in the so fall and the spring. So because I was going to ask about there, there must be training programs to there teach are. people how to run a grader, to teach people how to. There are. You, yeah. you know, I would be really in favor of sending all the employees. Yeah, there's one particular training that I think uh, Greg would like all of them to go to um, sometime towards the end of August. I can't remember what it was, and then there's another kind of general town highway. Um, Road maintenance uh, training um, over in Stowe in September. Yeah. That, that probably the you know, the two part timers. Would it's go just to. a great way to learn the latest methods. Yeah. What's out there? Mm -hmm. What to watch out for? You yeah. know, if you don't ever get out in the valley, you never find out. Yeah. And then we did. Um, we had the site visit for this year. This fiscal year's uh, municipal roads general permit grants and aid program. Um, with the, that would be the section of Valley Lake Road. Uh, coming down to um, Kirk Lance place, that twisty bit of road that's pretty well washed out right at the moment. Um, so, and then a, a possibility another segment um, on Valley Lake Road a little further up, um, depending on how much. Now you would put the paperwork in on the 
one by the school in our building. Is that still out there, the grant to do that? that? Um, yeah, that's for a design plan. and um, We haven't heard back from that yet. The state has still not, um, that's through the Regional Planning Commission, and the state still hasn't, um, either they haven't sent the money or they haven't um, officially awarded the grant. So we're just waiting. Okay. We're waiting. So it's, Another one sent of those. It in. I was just trying yeah, to yeah. Right everything right. is in, um, and it's a matter of waiting for the for the state to. Hopefully, it'll take as long as FEMA. Yeah, but yeah. They don't set the bar very high. <laughs> no. no. Um, and that's pretty much it for the. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I, won't, I don't think I'll get into the details of the road crew work. Um, just be just We're because just of the time. Yeah. yeah. Basically, they've been doing a lot of grading and um, some ditch work and plug culvert work and replacing culvert work. Yeah, because I know they're over there working on the counter. They really need to get that section yep. from Hubby Road that's, down all the way down. They're to on. The they're, they're, that's, that's where they're that's working That's the next now. on the plan. Yeah. Yep, on the that's road. really bad. Yeah, that's that's because the they graded it. It softens now. right up. Right, we fixed the end of my road, but because the water's not getting off, it just went right to yep. crap yep. right again. Yep. So it just needs to get there and get it done. So. Um, Conflict of interest policy. I contacted the LCT. I talked to Garrett Baxter. He's the lead lawyer there, and he basically told me that that, that um, both the, we could the town could do it the two ways. We could have the conflict of interest policy approved at a town meeting, so the town body approves it, or the select board also has the uh, and that's where the two state statutes. One says. Select board, uh, select board has that's one of our regulatory powers. Yeah. Or and then there's another state statute that says town meeting. So he said that's where a perfect example of where state statutes contradict each right, other. Right. They nobody talked when they made them. Right. So it's okay for us to approve it as a select board, or if we want to go through the town meeting process and wait till spring town meeting, we could do it that way too. Hmm. I'm in favor of doing it now. I, I am too. Waiting. I am too because yeah. it's it's well, complicated now. Understanding though that because we're all elected town officials, yeah. there's really no enforcement of this thing. It's right. Just, right. There. The only time there's really any enforcement, I guess, is when it's an appointed official that isn't an appointed. Yeah. Isn't um, a zoning administrator or on the zoning Correct. board of adjustment. Yeah. So if, if like if our animal control <clears throat> officer was uh, hanging dogs out of off his front tree or yeah. something and you know, we, you we could unappoint you. Can you imagine going through this at an open public meeting? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You'd be there all day. Yeah. yeah. And according to Laura, you know, we should have had something in place by yeah. July 1st of yeah. this year. So, um, so I would, you know, I'm, I am in favor of just us just approving this. Yeah. Um, so uh, I can, I'll make a motion that we um, approve um, the policy regarding conflicts of interest and ethical conduct for the town of Woodbury. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so there's a place for us all to sign. Another one of the policy manual. Yep. And let's see, 22nd of July, 2019. And then there's one last thing on our agenda, which we get for you guys to know and we should discuss briefly. And did you have something that you wanted to just actually I would like you here to hear what I'm gonna say next about the school group too. Okay, so I will um, we'll get this scanned and sent to the LCT and they'll be very happy. <laughs> We're legal. And again, thanks to Laura for even yes. finding out yep. that we, I had, didn't have a clue that we were yep. supposed to. You should have a policy for everything pretty much. That's yes. how I'm finding out. Yeah. So I was just going to update you on the school roof stuff and then um, I got a call, email from Larry last week um, and there is a, a snafu, a small one, yep. um, but we should, we should discuss it. Um, so I was going to let you know that work has finally begun on the school. Saw that. Yeah, oh, they started uh, last week setting up the, um, the uh, whatever you call it, scaffolding. scaffolding. Um, so they did get up. They're going to work on the front part of the school first. So that's pretty much done. 
um, in case there's you know stuff going on, people going in and out of school. Um, and they're also working on the entryway, which is se totally separate from the school roof and, and the town's involvement. That was a, a grant that... Yeah, um, we're this, doing a double door there, so yeah. you'll have a, you'll go down or up. There'll be a door in the middle, so you can't just walk in and go down or up. Yeah, so they'll have control over... Well, so if you doors. go into the office, yeah. you can't just go upstairs. Yeah, so that's a, that's a state... That's federal. always been a weird thing when you go into the school. Yeah. You gotta go down the basement. Hang right. left, go into the office. Yes, now yeah. you'll go in the door on the right, you'll go down to the office, they'll have to buzz you through to get into the yeah, school. Yeah. Upper part. Yeah. Which makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's... All well, schools have got this. Yeah. Yeah. And that's being paid for, it's either yeah. state or yeah. federal. Yeah. 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 Um, so they started removing the sh old shingles on the front part of the roof, and um, there isn't any sheathing on the roof, it's just old boards. The boards are in okay shape, um, but... Um, and you know the but the issue is is that um, the shingles won't be warranted without a without the sheet so we got to put the plywood on yeah okay. yeah so the total the amount is the total amount is um, and Larry wants to dicker with him about this um, the total amount would be eighteen thousand dollars above the fifty one thousand dollars that mm -hmm. was That's kind of expected and they had you know there was a part in the bid and, and i just i've got the bids i want to review that so larry and i could talk about it um there was there were, they had um, in case anything any board any any of the sub yep. part needed to be replaced they had a four dollar per square foot amount which is okay. basically the eighteen thousand dollars the east side the which is basically the back side of the school that does have sheathing on it Okay. So that part wouldn't have to be done. Okay. Um, but part of the um, part of what we want to dicker with them about is that um, they were not very. They didn't come up with that information about um, the requirements for the warranty with the shingling until they were already into the project. And this guy, that's the project overseer from Watershed. You know, when we first um, gave them the bid, he was going to get, get us the information about the shingles. He never did. Um, he contacted us beginning of July saying, oh, we're going to be there in a couple of weeks. Um, um, you know, and I, I contacted him, well, we still haven't gotten any information about the shingles. And, and, and he said, oh, I'll get them to you right off. Still didn't get them to us. And then when we did the site visit um, the Friday before the Monday when they were going to start the work, this guy was off on vacation. The people that came, you know, didn't know anything about the shingles, um, and you know, so it just seems that they've been somewhat negligent in knowing this ahead of time. So, Larry, um, Larry and I talked about it. We both agreed that you know, yes, we want the sheathing, but you know, it's an additional cost, and they should have known about the warranty requirements before they started. Should have been in the yeah. bid for him. Yeah, yeah. So. We're gonna do some dicker. Squeeze them a little bit. Okay. Yeah, squeeze them a little bit. Works for me. And Larry may have already done that today. You know, I, I was working all day. I had, you know, 20 minutes to get yeah. home from work and get down here, so I haven't contacted him. But mm -hmm. I now have the bids, and um, hopefully um, catch well, up with Larry because we did get a good bid price on. We did get a good we bid price. And I, I kind of anticipated that we weren't gonna get off. Got free right on the yeah. decking, yeah. so not so, a building that old. Yeah, yeah. so the see. upside is it'll be at least eighteen thousand, hopefully a little bit less. Yeah, um, that would be and they may find something it. else along the way. Would it surprise me at all? Yeah, wouldn't it's surprise yeah. at all. Yeah, so, yeah. but so, yeah, it's got to be done. Yeah, yeah. So, we're into it now. Yeah, yeah. so I just wanted to let, let you guys yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much it. I can. I'll try to update you after meet with Larry. You know. Tomorrow, I'm hoping I'll be able to meet with them tomorrow, uh, yep. so we can go over this. Mm -hmm. So, do you have anything else for us before we adjourn, or? I just want to give you the packets. Okay. Um, <coughs> since you have the binder, that's for the, the check itself, a copy. Okay. That's for the grant back, and then these are okay, so the tax rate. Okay, thank you. Stuff goodies. Okay. And then to keep in mind as far as the class four and outside services, right. what will we budget it for this year, this fiscal year? Right. Yeah, my end is space. Even even as far as Greg doing it. 
keeping it in the back of his mind that class four, if the gravel for it, if that's one. On We're budgeting right. it toward yeah. that class four stuff. So yeah. That's, yeah. 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 I think he. Chucks. I think he has. Has he been doing that? He should have been. Um, I can mention. He's supposed to be coding it as and such. Yeah. yeah. He writes where it's for, but it's always been gravel. So. Okay. Just go going forward, knowing that That's we're going north. Apply to we're class doing. four roads, right? Is that okay? Him just writing class four? Do you have budget codes for this? He has a code. He, he has knows. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's doing that because he. You know, we talk about the class four budget. From time to time, and I would imagine by the time we get done with the old quarry road and yeah, the so gravel that we've and North Road, yeah. North North road, road yeah. and, and even the private roads, I suppose we should put that you know, toward the yeah yeah. If we if we don't get if we don't get paid road back road, from yeah. it, yeah. Was put it into the, uh, yeah. Into the gravel. Yeah. So you know, like Herrick's Cove Road, we were paid for the gravel. Yeah. Um, and uh, whereas um, this uh, South Road, which basically is a private road, it's not part of the North Road, and um, the town has paid for that. Yeah. So, okay, all right, okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Thank Randy. You. Yeah. So I would make a motion. Oh, now do we want to go into executive session? Um, I, I don't need to. Okay. I, I, Coleman seemed to be. Coleman fine. didn't have a proposal. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I, really I think we can do this with that record right. just to say there it is but yeah so for the record basically coleman is paying for the work that's already been he's done. done so far and we will pay for the continued work and that's good we kind of expected to it sounded yeah. like he didn't get yeah 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 because again i'll just i i, I, I thought of, initially i was like yes and then i started thinking about what happens if someone does right. some crazy amount of work and comes in with a ten thousand dollar bill that we didn't you know, right yeah. not saying that that's going to but it, it could it happen. could have it, it, that was the door when we set the president said we didn't fix the road so i fixed it and yeah we put yeah. in the best material and i'm like Ooh -wee, and we could get a home no, no, bill right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so again i think our our standing think policy good. needs to be and i think it's been is that if you're going to work in a town road you need to get permission first. That way, we agree. I like what we did with this. That mm -hmm. we, particularly, I don't think this issue is going away. When we get right. to the top, he's all fuzzy about what's what. <laughs> right. Yeah. Top, and I'm really sounds like we do. That need was this. a hotly contested issue back. Okay, so that's ten. before. That's out of I just remember. Orders. Remember where the, where the world goes like this, and then we turned it here, and I, I don't. That was an Ainsworth Coleman thing. Okay, so I guess we should at some point. I'll figure that part out. Uh, if it, I, I mean, I'm kind of like if, if it doesn't need to be, if he's not gonna mm -hmm. just let the uh, sleeping just dog let his sleeping dog lie until okay, because okay. right. somewhere our right away goes through the air. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying with this? Yeah, the, the new road was put in, but I don't know if it was ever laid out. And well, that's what I'm saying because he was really vague about. I don't know who put that in. I, I he think says we he, did. Yeah, he says he bought the land, but then I don't know. I don't know. I think the town put it in, but I can't. Yeah. And trying to find an official record of that, that would be right. um, when it might have been. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I'm, I'm uh, assuming this issue is going to come up again because if okay. he builds a spec house, is what I heard he wants to do there, yeah. or sell lots, then someone's going to want. He would. I think he would yeah. like to develop it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So that's where I, this is all going, and that's why I made it clear to him that mm -hmm. you know, my feeling has been our policy is those roads are usable, and we need to control the erosion according mm -hmm. to the state. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do, and if you want to yeah. improve beyond that, it's at your expense. Yeah. If, the, if he wants it, us, if he yeah. wants it widened <laughs> and culverts and crown, and that's on them. Yeah. Yeah. a lot of times <clears throat> towns have done that. They've let the contractors build the roads bigger, and better. Sure. We're not still but maintaining then we accept, it. Yeah. But then we accept. Yeah, you could. We it is yeah. because I know our section of the county road standards. way back in the day yeah, used to, used to stop right at Bob Lord's camp and over. Ten years, they extended mm -hmm. that road down to us, and I, and I know back then that I wasn't involved in it. But the deals were if the, mm -hmm. I think the landowners played for the bulldozing and all the ditching, and the town came in and put the culvert and the gravels yeah. in. Mm -hmm. And it was a deal, but it was all like you said, it was worked yeah, it, out it was beforehand. Worked out and then really this town said, "Yes, we will take this over." Yeah. And a lot of places we're going to do that is not contention. Right. Nobody's going to argue about it, but if there is, then you've got to go through these processes. Right. I think. In, in my in the first phone conversation I had with Coleman, he didn't realized that he needed to get the town's permission to work on the road. He just figured it was running through his property and that he could do, you know. Um, and people so do it all over town. They don't, they don't work on a town yeah. road yeah. just because it's they drive it's on it yeah. and they right. want to make it better. And that's yeah. fine, but it's right. never an issue till it's contested. That's yeah, the problem. Just don't come down and ask us to pay for it after. Right. Right. <laughs> or if you know you got neighbor troubles. 
Yeah. yeah, that's where the problem. That's where we're. That's why we're here to right. mediate yeah. those things. That's why you yeah. got to have. Because yeah. if everybody's happy, nobody cares what happens. Yeah. But yeah. when somebody's unhappy, <laughs> yeah. I'm amazed he comes down the long way. Anyways, it's got to be a lot shorter just to go up onto the Cabot Road yeah. from yeah. where he is up yeah. there. I've got. I've never been on that road fully. From his end, it's a lot shorter to go from the Cabot Road onto his. Yeah, yeah. I need to understand that road because you've seen it's not nice that whole section up to where you get to where Holman's right. pull off is. It's just not a very nice piece of road. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's way nicer from the top down. Yeah. yeah. But again, it's not our choice because yeah. if it's a town road, then it's still yeah. a class four. Yeah. yeah. And I think Rick understood that too, that he can't stop right. him from using it. It's just yeah. Right. And, and I know from the Baron's point of view, the least amount of that that road is used, that's, Better. The, the, yeah. that's the preference just for the own privacy. Um, yeah. So. I think his big thing was making sure just needed to be talked to. And I, and, and right. I didn't realize the extent of the erosion problem that's right. going in his pond, it's going in. Yeah, that really needs to be addressed. Yeah, it does. And that's a town problem. That's a town problem, exactly. not a Coleman problem. That's our. That's yeah. on us. Yeah. yeah, that's our road. That's, that's why I wish people would talk instead of letting things fester. Right. Like if Coleman was yeah. unhappy, that's why I told him, if you're unhappy with the road, mm-hmm. let us let know. us know. We'll do something about it. Don't come in here and say you guys never fix the road. It's like, well, I don't yeah. up the road and yeah. yeah, I don't use the road. We don't maintain fours regularly. Correct. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but. The berry's going to continue to grow. And yeah, we're going to have more of this. That's why it's important yeah. that we right. follow a process on yeah. it so we don't get caught somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we are you know, technically class four roads now. Those parts that are hydrologically connected yeah. anyway, we are responsible yeah, for that's the why, on them. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said once we fix this portion, we need to keep it up because mm-hmm. it's one we can check yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll have to look and see if that road... If I bet it is. Yeah, to see. Yeah, you know, there's no, no rivers above it, but it's just it's having just you know the fact that it runs water. out and you know ran out into Rick and Sarah's meadow. Um, pond. The state's not worried <coughs> about that because nope. that doesn't go into the water. Yep. Right. Yeah, right, but in the so pond, it's going in. Yeah, and yeah, but it, but if it's it a limits you to where else is it going to go down the side of the road clear to right the bottom of you know eventually it would come yeah, into uh, well, it's uh, going to get to the get to branch. Blake Hill Road and then it'll yeah, be yeah. down into the Kingsbury branch yeah, once it's there. Yeah. So obviously any turnouts that you can put in right. first, there's yeah. less water going each yeah. time. So. Yeah. Common sense would tell me it's hydraulically connected, but I don't know yeah. <laughs> yeah. what yeah. their standard is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Second. Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're back on vacation.